Oh, we got a new player here. Hello, Anne. Hello. So. Hi, people. Hi. <laughs> I have this brought, is scary. <laughs> I have brought my girlfriend to play the game because I've already sucked all of the like, all of the game out that I can, and I want to watch somebody else play the game anew. So. Yes. Anne is going to be playing the game for me, so I can watch her and judge her every move. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you, honey. Thank Hel you. <laughs> Hello, outsider. <laughs> Hey, Psychotex Games, hello. Oh, Unholy Screeching helped you, s stop you, uh, d from Stop me from starting fires, fires. yes. I cannot words. Unholy Screeching uh, is, is actually- I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scary. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm saying It's anymore. okay. Unholy Screeching is actually my, my counselor who's helped me stop starting fires. My pyromaniac counselor, so thank ah, you for that. Ah, yes. Thank you, Unholy Screeching. I love your I love your username, by the way. That's amazing. Mr. Magic <laughs> called you Female Mike. Hello, Female Mike. <laughs> I am Female Mike. Yes. How are we doing? Doing well. Thank you. I am you. Michelle Burnfire. The Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Hello, giraffe in a hat. <laughs> Came here from YouTube. Thank you, Mr. Maker. Glad you enjoy what Zach and I have been doing. How be the life? The, dog, the life be good, Jack the Gambler. Thank you for asking. Duck man has duck woman here, so we're all happy. <laughs> I am Duck Woman. Yeah. So there you go. You a grill? <laughs> I'm a grill. A grill, yes. yes. We, we brought grill on. Hello, hello, Rock Shock Willie. Hi, Rock Shock Willie. Hello. <laughs> so it's great that I've actually got somebody to join me on streams now because I could give you guys a little bit more attention instead of just ignoring you the entire time. <laughs> yes, yes. You're the pyro? Oh, he's my bad counselor. Unholy Screeching is not the counselor I should be listening to. <laughs> he teaches me how to start fires. That's right. Oh. I've got two counselors. One that teaches me to stop fires. One that teaches me how to start fires. I got them switched up. Thank you for the sub. It's Scoot99. You've had Mike and Burnfire videos running on your laptop for the last six days without end. It's your background oh noise. Oh my gosh. That's perfect. That's great, actually, because there's like... 100 or 200 hours worth of footage for you to keep on playing. So, yeah, it goes for <laughs> quite some time. Oh, hi. Is it Avon? Avon? Avon 13. Avon 13, yes. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. I'm sorry if I'm not. It's okay. <laughs> uh, Arthur Neon, you're on time. We just started. It's all good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm late because I normally stream around noon and it's like 6, but I mean... Whatever. <laughs> We've been kind of like doing whatever and hanging around the house. And yeah, I wanted to dedicate this day to making sure Anne was feeling comfortable. Yeah. And then I just spent most of the time playing video games and watching <laughs> YouTube. So. It's okay. I've spent my time crocheting, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> you love casually listening to us play The Frontier? Yes, casually, I guess. We were enjoying that. <gasps> Zoe's here. Hey, it's Zoe. It's Zoe Fish. Hi, Zoe. Thank you, Zoe. Hope you're having a good week. Hope you're looking forward to a good weekend. Yes, I am not w Uncle Wolf. I am the girlfriend. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the five good subs, Zoe. Hopefully, Wizardly D appreciates that as well yeah. as Lemonade Demonade. And Poella. And the metallic plant. Metallic plant. <laughs> <laughs> it's a plant. <laughs> Hi, Zoe. It's good <laughs> to see you. <laughs> she, she, she's been seeing you around, Zoe. She's been seeing you in the chat. Yes. Should I tell them my username or? I if don't you're know. comfortable with that. I am actually that Blue Rose gal. I'm not sure if you recognize that at all, but <laughs> that's, pop it that's from, my name. Yeah. I, I come in from time to time, but <laughs> stupid work had me away from most of the streams and stuff like that, so it's just like, yep. <laughs> what happened to Zach's voice? I kicked him in the testicles really hard. <laughs> He got all squeaky and chipmunky, so. <laughs> Opinions on R. Kelly getting sentenced. I'm glad somebody rich and famous got actually justice. It's 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 nice. Uh, yes, yes, Zoe. <laughs> you are right. It's the crochet comments that gave it away. <laughs> the New Vegas videos literally helped when you were feeling sad. I'm glad we could help you, Herbert. They helped me when I was sad. That's for sure. I've had a lot of people say that, that kind of comment. Is Zach a femboy now? <laughs> yes, we got yes. femboy Zach here. Yes, I'm the gender bent version of Zach. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Remember, Mike, only you can start forest fires. Yeah. Yes, yes. So 
you've seen Zach and I playing a bit of this game before. Yes. But you I haven't have. played a whole lot of it yourself. Yeah. In fact, you've never played it. But... I've I have witnessed it, but I have never played it before. Yeah, so go ahead and play a little bit more of this game, and we'll just be here talking to people in chat. Sure. I'm doing great, Lemonade Money. Thank you for asking. All right, let's start up a new game here. Mm-hmm. Or not. <laughs> I guess I guess I have to continue. Mmm, looks like it. I guess so. Favorite topping on mac and cheese, Anne. Topping on mac and cheese. Hmm. There's a lot of options there. Um. Sometimes I like broccoli. Um. You vegetables. Think... <laughs> <laughs> oh shush. <laughs> Yes, Mike is best girl still. Yes, he Came is. Up with the to a wizardly companion to take with you on your journey through the wastes. It's dangerous to send me to go alone. Here, take this. Take this. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd give him so like a sword and then walk walk out. Thank you, Tactical Valigarmanda. Thank you for the nine months sub. Mac and cheese. Hey. <laughs> mac and cheese on your mac and cheese. You got even more mac, mac and cheese. And cheese. <laughs> Thank you, there is bus. Or there is a bus. Ooh, pineapple on mac and cheese. Oh, here comes some eyes. Uh. Oh, oh no. Yes. And thank you, Mr. Funny Guy 44. <laughs> Another challenger. It has been ages. Greetings. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Uh, well, he oh, hasn't forgotten, but I have. I turn off the overlay. There, you, there we go. There you go. All right. There thank you, you Bouncy Bloob. Allow me to remind you. Have a good weekend, it's Zoe. Been, it's been a hideous week and you need sleep. Aww. All right. Get all the rest Get you need. Get all the rest you can, Zoe. You've, you've earned it. You've <laughs> earned it. All right. Play the score. Pineapple on mac and cheese. That's the thing people do? Weird. You forgot bacon as a topic. Now play your stoat. An honorable death. Play the stoat. What is Fallout dust? It's a survival version of Fallout. Wolves require two sacrifices and you don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed yes. and attacks for one damage. You see its attack power in the bottom left there? Yes, that's one. Mm -hmm. And I know his health is three. That is true. I am yes. very aware of this. You've game. seen a little bit of this game. What is this game? It's a, it's a little card themed puzzle game of sorts. Yes. Welcome, King Bee. Welcome, welcome. So what exactly does he add to the scale? Is it like a tooth or something? I or? Yeah, it's pretty much just a tooth. Yeah. It's a tooth. Yeah, either I, I either interpreted it as a tooth or a thing of gold, but yeah. I, I think it's a tooth. I think they're teeth. I think he's got a lot of dead bodies. So. Yes, yes, he has them all in his closet. <laughs> yes, yes. Pineapple on mac and cheese is a horrific topping if paired with brown sugar, bacon, and green onions. Actually, green onion and bacon together on mac and cheese sounds delicious. That sounds actually amazing. Mm-hmm. If you tip the scales like this, you have won the round. My turn. Do you sleep at all or does blank keep you up? Don't let, don't let, don't worry about blank. Let me worry about blank. Blank? <laughs> Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. <laughs> Why are you trying to divert the subject, Mike? <laughs> I'm just talking to people in chat. He calls them teeth, yes. He yes. probably does fuse. Yes, yeah, quote unquote teeth. Mm -hmm. Stoat is pretty strong. He was able to withstand that blow from the coyote. Yes. Your stoat's health is too less. All right. It does, yes. Outsider says, I heard wolves require two as my rides. My mind immediately flashed Yu-Gi-Oh! PTSD flashbacks. <laughs> How are we doing that, Quietlander? Right. I am doing well, and I think Anna's doing well, too. I'm doing wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Who is Female Mike? This is my girlfriend, Anne. Hello. The suffering was real. Oh, bye, Stoat. You oh, sacrificed. the feels be real. You sacrificed Mr. Stoat. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right, so... S -R -A. Mac and cheese is amazingly baked, huh? I've only had it off the stove top. Random card for your deck or the certainty of a squirrel? Hmm. You need female Mike in Fallout now? Well, you'll have to make it yourself, Papa, because I'm too busy. Go draw a card at the beginning of your turn. Okay. Spoon with Bloom says, Oh boy, get to catch American streams today. Yeah. Must be up early or late. Prince Hades asks, Is Zach unwell? No, he's just not here right now. 
Is it Anne with an E or without an E, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, it's Anne with an E, yes. So, like, Annie, but that's not how you say her name. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of hitting the W and S key, you could also use the, the wheel, on the, the wheel on the mouse to scroll up and down. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, this so you is can, so you, much better. Yeah, you can play the game without even touching the keyboard. It's great. The river snapper. The grabber snapper. The river snapper, yes. yes. <laughs> yeah, my sister... Um, my sister used to call, you know, those things where uh, people, it, it's it's like a little hook that you grab things with. Okay, yeah. And, like, like if you can't reach it. She used to call those grabber snappers. Oh, right? those things. Yes, but grabber snappers. I have no idea what they're actually called. We'll call them grabber no, snappers. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, s'more at Pop-Tarts. S'more Pop-Tarts. <laughs> Is she the one that invented the bad giraffe? Ah, she didn't invent it. I invented it. Yeah, he he's the one who invented it. <laughs> She's not too terribly keen on that nickname, but it's fun. I gave you a cute one. <laughs> I gave you such a cute one. I called you a turtle duck. And then I had to make up one on the spot. <laughs> and you made a bad giraffe of all things. It's a portmanteau. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> I can't. I can't picture it being cute, though. It's just like, huh? It's a bad giraffe. How could it not be cute? <laughs> <laughs> How can it be cute? <laughs> Did we watch the latest episode of The Boys? I've never seen that show, actually. I have. That was wild. And it seems to be into it and encouraged me to watch it a little bit, so maybe I'll see a bit of that yeah, in the future. It's it's kind of like a dark humor sort of thing. It's like an interesting take on like superheroes and stuff like that and a danger that they pose and how they're in the spotlight and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And it's it's really good, actually. It's really good. Outsider okay. asks, I'm sorry, please. Oh, what what, what did I say? Oh, I, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I no, see. No, 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 it's okay. Outsider asks, when is the next Fallout 4 video and are we ever going to get more Outer Wilds videos? Um, next Fallout 4 video, perhaps after we do a bit more of New Vegas, probably gonna beat California, then maybe do a bit more Fallout 4. Ah, now you have to choose between the caustic adder or the cat. Which one will you choose? Only one may grace your paltry deck. That one has the touch of death. If it strikes another creature, it dies. Uh, no, I do not have an Insta Instagram lemonade money. And in regard to Outer Wilds, there is more video of Outer Wilds in the queue. I don't know if we'll ever finish it because last time we played Outer Wilds, it lasted about an hour and then Zach just kind of got super duper angry. So I don't know if we'll ever finish it. You have to choose between the many lives in the cat or touch of death from the snake. Hmm. They're both good cards. Yes, they could both be assisting you. Yes. What do I think of the Fallout 4 mod London? I there are probably a, there's actually a lot of mods out there that are in the in the process of being made and I look Congrats forward to it. on the charity stream. Great <laughs> success. Thank you, Fred Poo. Yeah, I was kind of open that we could uh, do something good for the charity and we did. Uh, it was a successful, I think it was $20,000 raised. Oh my god! It was a lot. You guys it, were so generous. Yes. I think I, I think I recall it was like $20,000. It was and a lot, was, yeah. You guys are so generous. Thank you so much. And it was such it was such a good cause, too. It really was. Daybreak says, how you doing? I'm doing great, Daybreak. We're both doing well. A lot of people are still talking about mac and cheese. And <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people have very strong opinions on that. Did she help with any of the mod cards? No, I was doing all this by myself. But now she yeah. gets to enjoy the mod cards. Yes, you I get move. to play test them in a way. You, it, Is that Mike's you, lady friend also? Yes. Hi, Mike. How are you? Yes, I am his lady friend. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Could, skillless Caden. <laughs> Bouncy Plube asks, can I finish Outer... Uh, I'm guessing that's Outer Wilds next. Uh, again, I, I tried to play a bit of that with Zach a, a few weeks ago, and we got about an hour in, and he, Zach just gets really, really frustrated with that game. We've already explored all the planets, and now we have to try and solve all these puzzles, and, you know, if, if anyone else falls off of a world and falls through a black hole, it might not be that bad, but Zach, Zach, he gets very, very angry about that. So I don't know if we'll ever finish it. We'll try. I'll try and keep him, keep it, keep him, give him a cool head, but... He gets frustrated with kind of games like that. Forget mac and cheese, get a hot pocket. Ooh, a useful implement. It'll allow you yeah. to tip the scales. Ah, uh, yes, the one to pull out my teeth. Oh, you're the already thing that aware. That makes me cringe. Yes. <laughs> you may have no choice. Yes. What is your favorite mac for mac and cheese? Ooh, oh, that is a good question. I there go for three cheese myself. Yeah. 
cheese. The shells. Well, they're asking about the mac for the mac and cheese. Yeah, that means the macaroni. Like the, like the macaroni and things yeah, like that. Yeah, the shells. Like, oh, uh, yeah, there's shells. There's um, elbow macaroni. Uh, sometimes people have, like, penne in it and stuff like that. Sometimes it can be a mix. I kind of like mixes of things. It's pretty fun, you know? Mm -hmm. And I've experimented with making my own mac and cheese before with, like different types of cheeses and whatnot and it's actually really good like it turned out all gooey and stuff like that it was really tasty <laughs> trying to play morrowind are you king b well good luck to you i've never played that one ah oh, morrowind i want to play that too like i've played oblivion and i've played skyrim and i love both of those <laughs> skill is caden mike has a lady friend who can, who plays games yep. <laughs> where can i find a lady friend like that too i'm sure you can find plenty of them actually. no there was only i got the last one i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> give him some hope please <laughs> or her <laughs> ketchup on mac and cheese i don't eat ketchup on anything myself uh, i mean ketchup's okay i like to dip fries in it you know like fries are pretty good with uh ketchup and whatnot mm -hmm. um i used to put it on my hot dog when i used to have hot dogs but i'm not overly fond of hot dogs all that much but um other than that like uh yeah ketchup's fine it's just basically like tomato you know yeah and i like tomato soups so welcome kind of stolen 101 you're fine with any except for baked mac and cheese you were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain yeah it's a pretty rough terrain there's stumps and boulders all on your path in my house, no ketchup is grounds for divorce. <laughs> <laughs> this is going Fair well. enough. <laughs> it's going well, Kingry. Thank you. You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play, and I get it, but maybe you'll help me. Take, Take your, your turn. turn. Play along for now. All right. Hello, A. Lamowink. <laughs> A. <laughs> So, you may now see his choices ahead of time. He'll let you know what's coming down the pipeline. All right. So, what do I do with these boulders, or are they just non-cards? Well, if you scroll up, you can get a better look at the playing field. So, yeah, that's what's on the field right now. And you got a boulder on your side of the field, and he's got a wolf coming down. The wolf is going to start attacking it, and the wolf will eventually get through the boulder and start attacking you. All right. So, put down a squirrel, I suppose. Sure. Um. Sure. <laughs> Here we go. Your items may help if you want to use an item. Yes. I'll use, I'll bring out a squirrel. Okay, that okay. means you'll be able to bring out the cat too. Yes. Have you tried cream of chicken with shaped pasta uh, and shredded cheese? I've, shaped pasta. I have not had any of that, no. That sounds yummy. <laughs> if he was asleep, how did he attack? He sleep attacked, <laughs> you know, started swinging his arms in his sleep. That's how it goes. <laughs> and do you like anime? Would you? What's your favorite anime? Oh, and my favorite anime. Hmm. Do either of us like honey mustard? I don't. State of I'm, decay. I'm, I'm not. not I'm not a big fan of honey mustard. I'm sorry. But uh, my favorite anime. Hmm. <laughs> She's it's... got a preference. She's got a few she watches. I I do have a few that I watch. Um. I my first tech technically my first anime was Full Metal Alchemist, the first one. Um, that was glorious. Mm -hmm. I loved that one. Um, Not played it yet myself. Right, Not seen it. Right now, I'm kind of interested in watching more Demon Slayer, which is really cool. I love the animation work they do in that. That is incredible. <laughs> How dare we not like the holy honey mustard? <laughs> Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm still getting through JoJo Part Five. I gotta drag her into the entire series. Ah, uh, uh, yes. I still, I still need to, I still need to watch that series. Uh, yes, Demon Slayer is good. Thank you, S'mores. Thank you, S'mores Pop Tarts. Hey, thanks for the cheers, Lemonade de Monal. <laughs> Can we get a W in the chat for Mike? <laughs> you're wondering if you're gonna make Zach play Frost or Fallout Four after dusk. No. Uh, I played Frost, and I don't think it would be a very enjoyable experience if I tried to make Zack play that. So you could sacrifice both of them and get the River Snap route, or you could just sacrifice one and get the cat out. Yeah, I think I'll just get the cat out. All, All right, right, cat gets to sit right there. Can, all right, I guess that's my move. Attack the stump. Oh, here comes the wolf. Ah, attack the boulder. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. 
Have either of you seen the 8090s anime? If so, which is your favorite? Mine mm. of Fist of the North Star. That's a good one. I enjoyed that. Mm, 80s and 90s anime. I've watched some more messed up ones, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> um, hmm, what was Loop it? on the Third. Loop on the Third. That's not messed up, though. That's funny. <laughs> um, the one that... The one that I saw, I think it was Devilman. Like, uh, like it was an OVA, I think, of it, and it was really messed up. What is North Star about? Uh, it's actually not too far off from Fallout. It's a post-apocalyptic world where you're punching enemies to death. <laughs> I said, completely oversimplifying it. Ooh, sacrifice two to get the River Snapper out. All right. Okay, Cowboy Bebop. Oh, yeah. It's hard to go wrong with that. Here comes the airborne bat, gonna fly over the cat and attack you directly. Oh dear. Uh oh, SpaghettiOs, uh uh. Ha, my bat flew right over your cat. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's gonna be an issue. Gonna be an issue. All right, so let's see. Let me see, how much attack does this guy get? He does an attack of three, but how do you, where are you gonna put him? Get rid of the stoat, maybe? Brock! You got him. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Either of us watch Black Lagoon. I don't think I have, no. I've watched a little bit of it. It's not bad. Oh, Outlaw Star is really good. I enjoyed that. Outlaw Star? It's it's not... I mean, it, it's less well-known than Cowboy Bebop, but it's kind of similar. <gasps> Somebody likes Blue Exorcist and Dead Man Wonderland. Both good anime. Yeah, I also enjoy a lot of Blue Girl. Yep. How's it going? It's going well. Thank you, Icons. Yep. Ooh, you're not down yet, but you're down by four. Ooh, it's you're you're one point away from death. I think that's a smart move. Take out his wolf. Yep. All right, and I guess that's my turn. I suppose. I guess so. Kill that wolf. Do three damage. Up, up, up. But then. All right, so I'm still in. Yeah, All still right. in the game. What about Trigun? I haven't watched the entire thing, but I did watch the first few episodes of Trigun. I enjoyed the heck out of it. I actually had a few Trigun graphic novels back in the day, back when I was into that kind of thing. Because Anne watched One Piece. Not the entire thing. Oh, uh, not the entire thing, no! <laughs> <laughs> back for Blood. Neither of us have played it, I don't think. No, Zach has. Hey, you beat him! You prevailed and trekked uh, onwards. Congratulations, you beat your first battle. I have a feeling Anne may have watched Food Wars before. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Um... Is that the anime where, like, the food is so good that everybody's clothes with rip off or something like that? Was that because... an <laughs> <What>? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize that was an anime. I, I thought it was, like, a yeah, show. Yeah, they're like, oh, my gosh, the food. Yu Yu Hakusho, <laughs> hell yeah. My favorite is Yu Yu Hakusho. Yep. Oh, Could I be the second person I hear. It's a pleasure to meet you. Also, I'm back from the Euro trip. Yeah. Came back oh, about a week hey, ago. I can't. It was a lot of fun. Hi, I can I, I can. I can's well, game room. Yes. Yes, I know. I know you, and you probably know me too. I'm actually that blue rose gal, but uh, you can call me Anne right now. Yeah. Welcome mm -hmm. back, I can's. Hope you had a really good trip. You said you came back from it about a week ago. Went to Amsterdam and all them places. I think you mentioned Italy as well. You were bouncing all over oh, the place, hey. weren't you? <laughs> Did you pick up any new languages? Probably not. You're only there for a short time, but <laughs> hope you had an enjoyable time. I've always wanted to like be fluent in other languages too. Like um like my biggest interest was uh Japanese actually mm. cuz like it just it just seems so appealing to me, you know? Mm. Yes. Konnichiwa. Ooh, the young wolf cub. It grows into a wolf. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening. Silver <laughs> August. Thank you for the 18 months. <laughs> so you get to choose between the wolf cub and the sparrow. Ooh, evil flying hello. creature. That one has an additional point of health, so it, it's a little sturdier, but it doesn't grow into a wolf after a turn. Hmm. Thank you, Professor Frankenstein. Nice name. Was Anne a fan before you started dating? Yeah. Yes, yes I was. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I found him, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Your Twitch wasn't working? It's working fine now, I hope, Hunter. Uh, alrighty, so... You picked up the language of shouting at locals who were being mean to you. <laughs> 
guess I'll pick the wolf cub since it does get stronger after a turn. <laughs> Although flying one is actually pretty good since I already technically have a wolf. Do you? But you can scroll up, I believe, and see your deck. Oh, you've got two wolves. I've got two wolves. You could add a third Yo, or you can get wait, a Yo, wait, you two are dating? Congrats. Yes, we are. <laughs> yeah. Hooray. We've been dating for quite a bit. That's yeah. how you get a game. Yes, that's how you get a gamer lady friend. Yes. Be yes. a YouTuber, a struggling Aww. artist for like six years. <laughs> and sounds epic. Yeah. Aww. Yeah, she was a little nervous. You guys are making her feel yes. really comfortable. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. it's a hard choice. You got yeah. you got the sparrow. Yes, I think I think it's mostly because I have two wolves and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, thank you, King. I just saw your your comment. She is sweet. Does Mike partake in the what? What does that mean? <laughs> in the Zaza. I think he's asking if I eat pizza. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> uh, he has introduced me to Detroit-style pizza. Mm -hmm. the, the the weed? <laughs> <laughs> the sticky icky. <laughs> okay, maybe not the weed. I mean, I mean pizza, yes. <laughs> hey, Spoon Bloom, if you make a follower and it's a cool follower, I'll, sure, I'll try and voice him. <laughs> the devil's lettuce. <laughs> we get more details on that, yeah. You should watch The Promised Neverland. A great series. Season 2 was less good, but still very good. I've never heard of that. Uh, wait, Zank? <laughs> hey, it's Zach Hazard. He's asking about the weed. Oh, he's asking about the weed. <laughs> uh, hey, Zach hasn't heard your voice yet either. Now, now he does. Hi, Zach. How you doing? How you doing tonight? <laughs> Hope you had a good day at work. You know, doing your job that isn't hanging out with us. Like what? actual person work. <laughs> With the wacky tobacky. Wacky tobacky. <laughs> oh no, the devil's lettuce. <laughs> Mary Jane's favorite plant. Yeah. You stumbled across some strange stones in the mist, Anne. Hello, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. What you gonna pick? Oh my. You had to sell pew pews. That's what you were doing, all right. Pew pew. <laughs> Who are you going to sacrifice? Aww. If you have oh, to choose no. one to get rid of forever. But will it be applied to another card? Yes. Is that what this You're is You're putting for? it into somebody else, essentially. All right. I'm going to go with Sparrow. <laughs> Sparrow? Okay. Yeah. Who are you going to put it into? All right. So let's see. You looked upon Pick your me. menagerie and selected a healthy host. Who do you want to have the power of a Sparrow? One beast enters, one beast leaves, yes. Hey, hey little Mao, thanks for I stopping by. I do not by. partake. <laughs> Have fun hanging out with your grandma, eh? Hey. A hey called you epic, by the way. Aw, bye, A. Hey. You're really nice, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, hmm. What do you think, honey? Who should be the one to fly? Who should fly? Who indeed? Hmm. Well, whoever you give the power of flying can hide behind an enemy's boulder, so somebody who has mm. low defense wouldn't be a bad choice. Low defense? Mm. Mm. So who would that... I'm tempted between the stoat and the wolf. Okay. Both good choices, both solid choices. Yes. Sending mad love from the UK. Thank you, Rick Richeroo. Thank you very much. <laughs> Yes, we're enjoying each other's company, Skillless Kid. Yes. You came back from the pub because some old-time veteran was making you mad, but the stream helps you cool down. Good to hear, John. I'm glad we were able to do that for you. Or Mike was able to do that for Ah, you. you're here, too. <laughs> you're helping him I know. Down. But, but now you, you were gotta... here first. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Who is going to fly? Which more appeals hey, to Zach you? Hazard, since you are in the chat, I must say something to you. Mac and cheese. I must eat mac and cheese. <laughs> it sounds delicious. Uh, we right. don't have the budget to give everyone Smith and Medicine's okay. brand jetpacks. We have to give <laughs> demonic rituals. Mm. All right. What an honor. You're now a flying stoat. The soul of the sparrow mm. now lives in the stoat. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Ah, <laughs> oh, the marine was giving you shit because your army. Ah, oh, that that useful. That uh. that's how it goes. Yup. <laughs> That interior service jiving at each other, elbow poking. Top deck lethal? You need top deck lethal? <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> He's making card game references. Ah, uh, I see, I see. <laughs> I wish I was more well versed in that. Mm, honestly. I'm still learning. Is Zach teaching me new phrases too? I didn't even know what half these th phrases were. <laughs> Does that make it a stoero or a sp- Oh, dude. <laughs> Behold my totem! It inscribes my canine cards with the airborne sigil. All of his wolves are flying 15 now. Fifteen months, fifteen months, fifteen months. <laughs> what an honor to come back to the right? streams with one of my favorite streamers and his new awesome lady friend. Aww. Here is to many more years of good times for all. Oh, thank you very Aww. much, Icons. Thank you so much, Icons. Very kind of you to say so. So now the stoats here. Flying stoat. Back on the board. Yes. I guess that's my my move. I or? guess so, yeah. Do a point of damage. The totem has granted your coyote the power of flight. Oh no! Yes. Only keeps me around to suffer. Meanwhile, Anne. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Quit calling me out. <laughs> and maybe one day you two can draw all five lives of Exodia. Funny you should mention Exodia. I looked into the uh, the files of this card game, this inscription, and there is a card in this game called Edaxio. I don't think it's actually programmed to work, but it's all very obviously a reference to Exodia. It's got the arms and legs and whatnot. Oh, oh no, you took too much damage, and oh, oh no. Oh, it's okay. You, I, I'm a new player to this, so you've it's You've lost. Fun. I've lost. Use this as a learning opportunity. It may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up! Get up from the table! Fetch me the candlestick. Now you do have to use the keyboard to move around. Oh, I do? Okay. Uh, uh, how do I move? <laughs> WSD keys over here. Ah, uh, WSD keys. Oh, I think you have to... There you go. And are you goaded with the sauce? Goaded with the sauce? So what? <laughs> <laughs> You managed to work in two Mike Rinfire references to a TV show you're working on, not even allowed to say which one. <laughs> Evan Peters might unwillingly reference you in the coming years. <laughs> that's that's pretty cool. Thank you, Uncle Wolf. <laughs> you picked up the candle, now sit back down. Have you ever heard of a game called Unreal World? It's a hardcore survival set in the Iron Age of Finland. I've never heard of it, no. There is a thread in the subreddit, so if you want me to play it, you'll have to try and like pitch it to me there. <laughs> One of the candles goes out. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Ah. Now, where were we? Don't. I am blood sacrifice. Don't mess up anymore. All right. You hope it's a reference to the magician of the king of Spain. <laughs> <laughs> May not look like much at first, but the black wolf pup is of it. Oh, the ornery porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. Me still kind of mad me when smash Hulk smash. <laughs> All right, John, calm down now. Hey, the Black Wolf Pup is a modded card. Aww. I didn't. I, <laughs> you're still in the tutorial, so I'm kind of surprised that you got that. A card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one per turn on the board. Yeah. Okay. Oh, whoops. <laughs> All right, well, you got it now. <laughs> uh, okay. All right, so. You wondered how you yep. wonder how 200 year old Blamco mac and cheese tastes. <laughs> Well, Marshall. Oh, I've been named Mrs. Burnfire. <laughs> you got it. Blue Burnfire. Blue Rose Burnfire. Blue Rose Burnfire. So, <laughs> going back to that 200-year-old mac and cheese, I've actually had 8-year-old macaroni and cheese. It's not good. Don't don't eat 8-year-old mac and cheese. The cheese was brown. It was powdered and brown, and it wasn't good. The blue flame. How did you know, Icons? Ah, yes. <laughs> Well, we actually, it's kind of funny because uh, you know how there are like ship names and stuff like that. <laughs> we shipped ourselves. We shipped ourselves and <laughs> called each other Fire Flower. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yes. Robo Mike, Metal Mike. <laughs> <laughs> which one of us is Robo Mike and which one of us is Metal Mike? <laughs> I wonder. Hmm. Dutch Army has five year old mac and cheese. Well, I mean, maybe if it's meant to be pre preserved for that long, but I mean, like. Not craft in a box macaroni and cheese. Why aren't you top decking lethal? Cause we're it's not it's not we're early we're all we're we're just learning still. And sloppy mac and cheese or just enough mac and cheese? Hmm. They're both good options. And yes, we are nerds, Dearth Knights. Thank you. <laughs> I take great pride in being a nerd. She really does. <laughs> well, who do you want to have an extra point of attack power? 
Ooh, that is a good question. You can put it on anybody and make your existing attacker stronger, or you can put it on the cat and the cat could be an attack. There's hmm. so many different options. It's none of them none of them are bad options too. Yeah. I think I think maybe the wolf, because he's a uh, he's pretty strong. Ooh, you make him even stronger, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I'll do wolf. Two hundred year old Blamco is better than fresh fiesta pale. I know this in my soul. <laughs> I don't think I've had Fiesta Pale. I don't even think I've heard that. We will be referenced on TV, Mike. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> not we won't be called out by name probably, but yes, it's still oh, pretty goodness. cool. You're a second-rate duelist with a third-rate deck? I feel like that's a reference to Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. <laughs> it's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. Go. But oh, back to the um, sloppy, sloppy mac and cheese, or just enough mac and cheese. I mean, whatever comes out of the box is fine for me, as long as it's not that's too watered down with a lot of milk. That, that's true. Then again, a lot of cheese goes a long way. Hmm. I can't pick. They're both good. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So. Do you get an invite to the burn flower wedding? Maybe one day, Caden. <laughs> <laughs> This spot? Are you sure? <laughs> you put him right in front of a bear! Oh my lord, I did not realize this. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Mr. Stone! Please forgive me! Roar! <laughs> no! He was destroyed! You've killed a man, Stoat thing! I don't know how to play! <laughs> it's all about figuring it out. You'll learn. <laughs> You'll learn or you will die. Yes, indeed. You know, I'm gonna grab another squirrel. Oh, good idea. And then get this squirrel here. Mm hmm. And where do you think. Ooh, you got your both wolves there. Hmm. One of them is stronger than the other. One where do you. Than the other. Where, where are you gonna put I that? I can probably put it right here. Probably. That way it's not like in full yeah. view of the bear if like you put I did in, with the poor stoat. If you put him in front of the bear, the bear will just tear that wolf apart like you just did to the stoat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> Do we play horror games? I don't typically play horror games. I would you? love to play more horror games, to be perfectly honest. Yeah? Like, I'd love to play Dead Space, because that looks amazing. Zach and I were just talking about playing some Dead Space yes, ourselves. But yes. I'm, he's, like, he's like, I really want to play Dead Space. And I'm like, isn't there a Dead Space remake coming out? Don't you want to wait for that? And he's like, ah, but I really want to play Dead Space. And it's like, <laughs> yeah, but there's also a remake coming out. Should we wait for that? And he's like, ah, but I really want to play Dead Space. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, I know, Dead Space is a very good game, but... Well, I have played um, Dying Light before, and that's really fun because, like, you get to do, like, a bunch of hardcore parkour. And, but, um, the scariest part is, like, nighttime when there are, like, these volatiles, and it's just, like... I, I was terrified the entire time. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Zach. <laughs> Zach is saying nice things. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking at the, the comments on my phone just so I can make sure it's working. Yes, yeah. yes. Let's see. Where can you send fan mail for us in the post post apocalypse? It's like, uh, if you're in the Discord, there's a. Appreciation only eat cheese. <laughs> only eat cheese. Only eat cheese. Thank only you, John. Only eat cheese. <laughs> no way. You're playing Dying Light 2. It's okay. We all know that Mike's actual favorite dish is crayons and cheese. <laughs> the yellow ones cause they taste the most like macaroni. No. I eat the red-orange ones. Those are the most delicious. But not the orange-red ones. Those are deceptively awful. Resident Evil 4? I don't Would you consider that Resident Evil? Have you played Resident Evil 4? I haven't. I haven't really played the Resident Evil games, but I know the plot behind it, and I know there's like a bunch of puzzles and stuff like that, and I would actually like to engage in that sometime. Cool, that would yeah. Be... Zach and I have both played Resident Evil 4. We're big fans of it. There's a remake of it coming out. We can play that sometime. Yes, yes. That would be lovely. Ooh, would you, be get love to, you get to choose from these three cards. One of them, the snail, is a modded card. You can tell by the little paw print there that uh, somebody else made it. It's armor. The first time it would take damage, prevent that damage. It's a pretty powerful ability on a card that's relatively weak. Only 1-1. One, one. Hmm. You know, I might take the snail just based on that. 
Because you said it kind of absorbs damage, he, right? He can absorb one point of attack. The bullfrog can block flying damage. And the grizzly can rip everything to shreds, as you've seen. <laughs> yes. I'm kind of tempted with the bear, though. He's very daunting, yes. Because he's a bear. <laughs> <laughs> he's very appealing. <laughs> hey! It took me a minute to process that. <laughs> There's plot in Resident Evil? Yes, it's hilariously awful most of the time. Yeah. The Outlast trilogy? I was, I was never able to get into that. I watched playthroughs of that. Could I post the Discord link? I'll try that, yes. Yes, yes. But, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, please. no, 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 it's okay. But um, I watched a lot of like playthroughs of Outlast 1 and 2. And uh, I think Whistleblower was another one that I saw. But um, I really kind of want to play that just solely for like the intensity of it. And, like, like the fact that you can't really fight back in the first one is actually a scary concept, so... Opinion on Monkey Island. Have you ever played Monkey Island video games? No. Me As a matter neither. Fact, I'm not 100% familiar with No. This. So I don't know much about the remakes coming out. I know there's some people that are interested, some people aren't, but... <laughs> Darn it, Chad. He wants ramen now. <laughs> <laughs> you made him hungry. Uh, yeah, I got no opinions on this. Monkey Island, but you know, maybe I'll check out that series someday. Bullfrog, snail, or grizzly. They're hmm. all good options in their own right. If I... I had to make a suggestion, I would choose either the bullfrog or the snail because if you scroll up, you got, if you uh, check out your cards you have right now, both of those wolves and the river snapper are kind of expensive at two blood each. So you got some pretty powerful cards. Yeah. So a few cheaper cards wouldn't be a bad idea. You think I'd like Monkey Island because it's a fun point and click game? That's true, Zach. Hmm. That's true. It's very comedic. I have heard that. It sounds pretty hilarious. Thank you, anti-social Twitch. I would love to see you play Monkey Island then. I yeah, it could be a lot of fun. That, that would be lovely. Uh, you, could, you could look up a guide and tell me how I'll to do it, because those point-and-click games are kind of difficult to solve sometimes. <laughs> oh, hey, and it has comedy in it. Your favorite thing, honey. I do love comedy. Yes. Which one are you going to pick? The bullfrog, the snail, or the grizzly? Hmm. Flying damage to block is pretty good. Mm -hmm. But there's also the snail. You know what? I'm going to ask the chat. Chat, which would you like me to do? The snail or the bullfrog? Ooh, let's see if I can run a poll from my phone. I don't know if I've tried to do that yet. Let's see here. Mm, doesn't. Oh, you can do oh, it, Icons? Thank you, Icons. I'd appreciate mm -hmm. that. Snail never fails it, from Richeroo. Mm, it looks like there's no easy way to set it up, at least not with the way it currently <laughs> is. And Zach is spelling out snail. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I only, I only saw part of it. I thought I was going, nail again. <laughs> Frog or snail, yes. I'm oh. seeing a lot of snail so far. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people picking snail. I guess we could have just done a poll. Oh, we could have just done like a, a verbal poll because oh, a lot of people frog. are saying snail. Hi, Frog. How you doing? Hey, Frog Skeleton. Hi. Good to see you again. <laughs> it's stupid later here, so you're going to come in, make some noise, and leave. I understand. You're on the other side of the pond, Frog. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Snail has its home on its back. Yeah, but yes. Bullfrog has its young on its back. Yes. I think I might go for the snail because... Oh, wait, are... wait. How's the poll doing? Uh, it's almost done. I'll let you know. Almost done? Sure. But I'm going to tell the you... Ribbit. <laughs> it looks like Snail is probably going to win. I'm... I... I don't doubt it. You yeah. know, I don't doubt it. Peer pressure, baby! <laughs> <laughs> so... Poll is closing. Frog is pretty much losing 30. Snail has 70. So. All right. Yeah. Snail and yet, squad. That is a pretty nice ability on that snail, but it won't block flying attacks. It'll All absorb right. an attack, but it won't absorb a flying attack. All right. Snail it is. As you guys suggested, we got snail. Thank you, Frog, for the five oh, gifted thank subs. thank you, Frog. Hey, Caden got one. <laughs> oh, wonderful. And Papa would Jaja would ja -ja as well. That Zach is spamming snails. Snail squad. Abusing that mod power, I see. <laughs> hey, you could get a fan. It lifts your creatures into the air for a turn. Makes them temporarily flying. That's true. Choose one. Hmm. Only Zach has spam privileges. I wish, he'd <laughs> I wish he wouldn't abuse them, but he does have them. So you can get, oh, another set of pliers. I'm not really sure if I want the pliers because I can only take enough cringe. 
I want to play this game. <laughs> You're not. Zach is arguing with Icans. <laughs> I want to try and do a run of this game where I grab as many pliers as I can and try and rip out an entire head of teeth in one run. Oh my Thank god. Thank you for the five gifted subs, Frog. Thank you so much. To Mr. Crowbar, ooh, s'more spop tarts again. Yeah, yes, they were there. At Victorium, John Ver. Ooh, you can get a boulder if you want. Yeah. Thank you very much, Frog. Very kind of you to gift those ten subs. Thank very, you, very Frog. kind. I should put a raccoon in there for Zach. I did. But it's only available in the KC Mod DLC. Choo-choo. 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 <laughs> oh, yes. How is that, Zach? <laughs> <laughs> so which of these items are you going to grab? Well, I already grabbed the squirrel, so that's pretty useful, just in case I wanted to make a couple sacrifices. Mm-hmm. Um, did somebody say boulder? <laughs> <laughs> it's not just a boulder. It's, it's a rock. rock. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go to bed? Thank you, the rise bus. Thank you for stopping by. Good night, good night. <laughs> Aw, Zach and I cans are making up. Yeah. <laughs> They're making out in chat. <laughs> <laughs> I said making up. <laughs> but okay, yes. I ship. I ship. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I will go with fan. All right. Do a bit of a fan dance. Feeling overburdened enough with three items, you carried on. Up, oh, I'm going to face the prospector. Oh, here comes the boss. Alrighty. You're probably aware of his gimmick a little bit. Yeah. The trees seem to close. Nope, in we make an out now, French style. Mm. Yes. <laughs> I can picture it now. Mm, yes. <laughs> you can hear the clinking of metal on stone. Who could it be? A hobbled figure stood in your path. Twas. It's me, I'm the prospector. Yeehaw! <laughs> hey, give me your best prospector impression, Anne. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All so right. now let's see if we can defeat the prospector. Let's see. <laughs> so let me... <laughs> Kiss him on the mouth, Zach. <laughs> I am the third wheel, says Lemon. <laughs> let's see. All right. Now it's time to engage in strategy here. Watching out All for the right. cards he's got coming down the conveyor right, belt so here. Let's see. Coyote and pack mule. Okay. If I watch Clanad and Clanad, no, I, I don't know what that is. Clanad? Hmm. Yeah. Did somebody mention Clanad? That is depressing. Oh, goodness. Thank you, Frog. <laughs> Thank you so much, that's, Frog. Well, that's quite a lot of bits. Thank you for all those bits, Frog. Very kind of, add, you know, on top of the gifted subs from earlier. Thank you very much. Aw, thank you, Frog. Frog comes in and says, hello. You. How y'all doing? How, well, is that how a British person sounds? How y'all doing? That, I, don't <laughs> think that's, I don't think it's the accent. <laughs> it, wait, is Anne British? No, I'm not British. <laughs> Anne, give us your best British accent, Anne. <laughs> Good day, sir. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like it. <laughs> Funny thing is, I used to work for the Renaissance Festival, so I kind of came off with a British accent. Oh. And, like, a lot of people are just like, are you from Britain? I'm just like, no. <laughs> I'm just really good at my job. <laughs> <laughs> You're curious if I say any names funny, like you say Benedict Cumberbatch with an 1800s accent. Okay. Benedict Cumberbatch. <laughs> I don't know. Do I? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Megalo box. Never heard of it. Nope. All right. That cockney accent's not too bad. Thank you, Atkins. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chat. So, what do you think should happen here? Should ah. I sit down, a chat. squirrel, and place a cat down? You're or... never gonna learn if you're just I taking know, advice from Chad. <laughs> he is, he's, I mean, he's waving that pickaxe very menacingly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alrighty. Okay. So, Boulder ha can't be sacrificed, right? Has Anne played a Mass Effect or Dragon Age game before? Have you? Um. Hmm. Oh my goodness, no, you're I pausing. Have not. You haven't played Mass Effect or Dragon Age? Oh my goodness. No, I haven't. Oh, you'll have to. They're I so do. good. I do. I do have to. 
I mean, the Dragon Age series is okay. The first game's really good, though. Mm. Sorry, Mike. Chat is simping, simping for Zack now. He's gone mad with power and reenacting <laughs> Helen of Troy. <laughs> Zack is the face that launched a thousand ships. The other way! <laughs> You forgot that Twitch chat is just as much of a threat as the prospector is to you. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> uh. Let's see. So I should have put down roll for River Snapper. Mm. Grabber Snapper. River Snapper is a tanky character. He can absorb quite a few hits, but Wolf. But mm. Wolf is good for damage. He's good. He's, he's kind of oh, weak, though. Oh, don't be sad, Zach. Sad treasure panda noise. Why are you so Choo -choo. sad? Choo-choo. <laughs> Choo-choo. Choo-choo. <laughs> Choo-choo. <laughs> <laughs> you right. want to know what Twitch integration in this game would look like every time you donate 500 bits and another bear appears on the enemy side of the field with your name on it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorrowful Chew. Sorrowful Chew. Uh oh, here comes a coyote coming to destroy your wolf. Oh, you might want to get that cat on the board sooner rather than later, but we gotta make sure yeah. he's careful. Ooh, he's gonna die next turn. Never mind. <laughs> That's it. I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just. I just playing, man. Well, right now that coyote in the center is gonna come down and tear up your cat. So, yeah. and that coyote all over there is also gonna come down and tear up your my wolf. Your wolf. Yeah, I'm not very good at card games. Ah. I'm sorry. Ah, er. No. No. All right. Well, I think you can still salvage just a little bit. Uh, how so? Use the pliers. That's the only way I see you salvaging this. Sorry. Okay. Gonna have to use the pliers. Ow. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Kate. You didn't think it would that be the eat well, of course not. I just <laughs> ripped out my tooth. Did I beat the boss yet? <laughs> oh bye, Skillis, Caden. You like the full deck at start in be back for blood they implemented. It means Twitch integration is broken now. Uh Gold, I've struck gold. So right. yeah, you still got quite a lot of things on the board, but the river snapper can help you out a little bit. Yeah. Hmm. What is this card game? Well, Thunderclap Sasquatch, it's called Inscription. Um bye, Skillis Kaden. Have a good night. Have or a day. Great night depending or on day. where you live. <laughs> <laughs> The game is called Among Us. <laughs> Thank you for reminding me how much my tooth hurts. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome, Chuckle. I'm sorry. It's Chuckle, not Chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you have to do your best to protect against these four coyotes that are coming down the line. It's gonna hurt. Alrighty, so I guess I'll pick up another squirrel. Another mm -hmm. squirrel. What do I do with the gold card, though? What you can't really do anything with that. It's just taking up space right now, but it's going to get destroyed in a turn anyway. What about the pack mule? Do I put it in front of the pack mule? Is you could, but you won't be absorbing any attacks from the pack mule. It's probably best if you take out some of those coyotes that are doing a lot of damage. Hmm, yes. I suppose so. Yeah. So we'll kill that one coyote, and then... Oh, yep. Two points of damage. Yeah, is uh, hmm. kind of a problem there. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, seen any good games on the Steam Summer Sale, Mike or Ann? I didn't see any. I don't think we've had time to check out Steam lately. Yeah. We've been very busy. Yeah, I, I, I don't really have a Steam. I mean, I did have one, but I forgot the password to it, so yeah. Yeah, she plays PlayStation most of the time anyway. Yes, I play PlayStation. I've been playing a lot of Oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Bit of an Elder Scrolls the fanatic. The funny game. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like you're in a pretty tough situation right now. I could just put down a squirrel. Block that. You could, yeah. Do a point to him, but then... Oh, no. Two points. Ooh. This is rough. Yeah. I feel okay. like the prospector's gotten you beat unless you get super lucky with some of your draws. Yeah. Well, so far... The river snapper has not been killed. <laughs> That's true, but so. there's a snake coming his way. Who's going to kill him? Hello, oh, Mr. Snake. No. Ah, no. How dare you? Yeah. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> All 
right. Yeah, I feel like you're uh, you're done with this run. Yeah, squirrel one v one. Get him, squirrel! <laughs> squirrel, you were useless. <laughs> squirrel, how dare you? <laughs> you failed me for the last time, squirrel. More gold for me! <laughs> <laughs> Zach is more like a demigod with a shotgun, and Mike is the best friend that keeps throwing the dynamite. Yes, I am also a demigod, as I am also good at not being killed for and the most part. What is your favorite gun? Hmm. Firearm, ooh. A favorite firearm. You weren't dead yet. Yeah. You're in purgatory. You may think of it that way. Rip and thank you, giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I can't. Next deck idea: full attack squirrel deck. <laughs> <laughs> for the most part, what about New Vegas minus three? That's why I had to add that qualifier. For the most part, yes, not all the time. The squirrels were just as useless as Sakura from Naruto. Hey, that's not fair. Those squirrels can block attacks. <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Some cards. Choose a card to pick the cost from. Well, they're both the same, so... Yeah, that they are. Two blood from the wolf. And now it's power and health. The numbers. This guy, for okay, sure. Okay, yeah. The, the health, for yeah, sure. Yeah, definitely better than the snail. One hit power and six health from the river snapper. And then the sigils. Ooh. Hmm. You want that card to get stronger after a turn, or you want it to be uh, a sacrificial cat thing? I think, I think Black Wolf Pump. I think that's a better choice too. Yeah. So now, R.I.P. Squirrel, you will be smash me, stupid grunt who wants to smash, but still good content, Mike and new lady friend. Thank you, John. Nerf guns, yeah. Anne will say her favorite gun is a Nerf gun. Poor Anne dying so soon. Well, she was so young. I'm not that young, <laughs> but um, as far as my favorite gun goes, like in video games, I tend to choose the sniper rifle a lot Ooh. because it's just like I'm kind of a coward when it comes to one-on-one -on -one <laughs> facing. And so a bit I'm of just like I'd be a sneaky, a sneakity snake. <laughs> a bit of an opportunist, I see. Yes. All right. So what is the card name? Yeah. Blue. Blue! That's a good name for that Blue. card. Blue. I had fun, but I must run. See you again under the sun. Hey, thank you, Thunderclap. Aww. Hope to see you sometime coming back. You do not need to smile. Kalik! If I was God, I wouldn't do anything. <laughs> I wouldn't blame you, Zach. <laughs> Having all that power and stuff like that, it would be like, maybe it would the be so boring. Maybe the occasional <laughs> flutter, massive natural disaster. <laughs> Zach is a vengeful, unforgiving god. Mm. Ah, perhaps it is time for you to understand bones. Ah, yes. Do you understand how bones work? Uh, no. The possum here costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. So you place a squirrel, and you sacrifice the squirrel and get out the stoat. The stoat. And the squirrel who was sacrificed gives you a bone! <laughs> yeah, I've gained a bone. You've gained a bone. You will not lose it until it is spent or the battle ends. <laughs> Can I choose another card, or do I have to play, for his lady. play the card? You're the perfect person for a guy like me, and your eyes are shining like the token <laughs> sea. I wish you could be mine for eternity. Could you please be mine? Hey, you trapped, you my, trapped soul. my soul, you, you broke, broke my law. You're a thief because you stole my heart, stole my heart, trapped my soul, trapped like a my soul star. like a zero star, 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 a zero star, 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 because you're my star, 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 <laughs> star, 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 because you're I'm mine. I'm guessing that's an Elder Scrolls reference. <laughs> well done, wizardly. Round of applause. Ah, well done, well done. Yes, yes, that was beautiful. Attack for one. If Zach was God, he'd make raccoons the dominant race. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about the shoe bills? Maybe he would as well. Yes. Hmm. All right. Can I play the opossum on the field, or do I have to have two bones? You need two bones to I play the opossum. Bones. You could place the squirrel in front of the rattler and let the, the squirrel die. Oh, darn it. I should have done that. That's okay. fine. We'll it's wait right. a turn. Do a point to him. He'll do a... Ooh, here comes another rattler. Oh, no. 
guess one of these cards. Bullfrog. Mm. Hello. Sting is okay. <laughs> uh, Never mind. Where do I? You could go ahead and take out that snake on the left side with the bullfrog. Yes. Bonk. But then here comes the other snake. Bonk. No. But at least now you can play your possum. Yes, I can. Should I put him in front of the rattler? Kill that rattler wouldn't be a bad idea. Inscription is on sta is on stale right now. Thank you, Dearth Knight. If anyone likes this game, which if you if you don't have this game, you definitely should. I love this game. I love this game a lot. Yes. It's rather interesting. There you go. An attack. I think you got this. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> you got it. The song is better with music. It's made by a YouTuber named Young Scrolls. Ooh. And the voice actor is the... Uh, the voice actor for the adoring fan heard it and liked it. Ah, oh, all right. Yes. Nice. <laughs> Zach is a humble as a god. Praise be to Zach. <laughs> please, please do not smite us. Yes, praise be. Praise be. <laughs> if this game is $14, I'd say it's worth it. In my game, your overkill damage is rewarded. You get a tooth for every extra damage dealt. The Trapper may be interested in your spoils. Congratulations. You've oh, beaten well. him. Yes. Oh, I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. Okay. It's beside the safe. This guy? Yeah. Oh, there is a combination. Yes. A three number combination. Hmm. A three number combo. Three, <laughs> three number <numbers>. combo. <laughs> Gilligan's Island reference. Nice. <laughs> That's how you know you're not super young. <laughs> I used to love that show when I was a kid. It was my jam. I enjoyed that when it was on at Nick at Night, yes. Yeah. Ah, uh, Spoon Bloom has the combo for you. It's eight six seven five three zero oh, nine. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I have to find the combination for that somewhere around here. Hmm. Twelve, three, six. Twelve, three, six. Hmm. Twelve isn't an option. Yeah. That's probably not the combination. What is this? Squirrel. Secretary bird. <laughs> All right. Keep an eye out for the secretary bird. Flipping through the pages. Yeah. Mighty leap. Mm hmm. It blocks an attack with the airborne situation. Who is the lady? Welcome, Mr. Fancy Panzer. Yes. If you haven't heard, this is Anne, my girlfriend. Hello. Hi. Did we watch Married with Kids? Ah, Married with Children. Yes. I enjoyed that show a lot back in the day. Hmm, I don't, I don't think I actually heard of that show. No, it was, it's a live action show, which honestly is surprising considering that I actually watched it. But yeah, I watched Mary with Children and Drew Carey Show and a few other live action shows back in the Hi, day. Hi, Mr. Fancy Panzer. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, Hunter Perkins, I am the girlfriend. Mm -hmm. The friend girl. Yes. <laughs> the friend who is a girl. <laughs> Indeed. Ah, Ren and Stimpy, that's a good, good one too. Hmm, I mystery didn't... Science Theater, yeah. Oh, Mystery Science Theater, yes. I love Mystery Science Theater. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's all good. I have enjoyed a few of those as well. Yes. I would love to see the Godzilla ones. I keep looking for the Godzilla ones, but I never find them. Yeah, we'll have to they hunt them down. Them. There's a lot of possible sigils. A lot. Oh, so many. Let us continue. Let us bake it in cheddar. <laughs> what, what, what's it my chance for? What's it my chance for? Tell me I can. What can I do? Tell me. Tell me the secrets. Tell me all your secrets. It's my chance to do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Just do it. <laughs> Make your dreams come true. Don't let your memes be memes. <laughs> uh, tell tell the embarrassing story about me. <laughs> oh, it wasn't. It wasn't really embarrassing, per se. But um, I could tell how much you really, really loved farmland on our way over here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> There's so much farmland. <laughs> it's so boring. <laughs> Oh, hi, your turnpike sucks! <laughs> <laughs> they, 
they met on farmers only. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, yes, we met on farmers only. It's why we like wearing so much plaid. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why do we shoot jukeboxes? Because it's an easy way to shut them off. Why were you in Ohio? <laughs> because potatoes, that's why. <laughs> I wanted to figure out what was high in the middle and round, round on both ends. Uh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, you gotta pick between these three cards. Ooh, bone cards, I see. Yes, cockroach. Unkillable, always goes back to your hand when it dies. What kind of anime do you recommend? Oh, we were talking about animes earlier. Yes, we were talking about anime earlier. What kind of anime do I recommend? I would say Yu Yu Hakusho, because you can watch like the first 25 episodes to get a feel for the kind of characters. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that seems that seems pretty good. It's like a little self-contained arc, and if, you, if you're not feeling up to it, you don't have to continue. If you think you might mm -hmm. be into it, give it a chance. The second arc is the Dark Tournament, which is awesome. Yeah, hmm. Let's see. What do I recommend? I do love both of the Full Metal Alchemist series. For the first one and uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood because that closely follows the uh, graphic novel, or rather the manga. Mm -hmm. um, there's, there's a more obscure one, I guess, called Blood Plus. Um, I really liked that when I was younger, when I was watching it. It's messed up as hell, but I still really loved it. Mm -hmm. um, Shikabane Hime was another one that I watched. Zach says recommending anime is difficult since every anime inherently has bullshit. Uh, and yes. every person's tolerance to anime Very bullshit is true. different. <laughs> Although I have recently watched something called My Dress Up da Darling. And uh, it's actually pretty wholesome. And um, it's it, like, I actually like all of the characters in there. Like, it's about a girl who, like, cosplays and stuff like that, and she's not, like, one of those typical, like, animes. Yes, Zach, it is so dang cute. Like, the, <laughs> I love the main girl, Maureen. She's so wonderful. And she's not one of those girls who, like, smacks the guy around and goes, Oh, pervert! No, she, she's, she's a lot nicer than that. She's just so cool. Yeah, and if you've never seen anime before and your tolerance for anime bullshit is low, I would say try La Blue Girl because I feel like even if you don't know anything about anime, you can watch that show and still go, Yeah, I enjoyed that. Yeah. Ooh, somebody's watched The Promised Neverland. Yes. <laughs> Uh, I I liked the first season a lot, but I heard the second season is very disappointing, so I kind of stayed away from that a little bit because mm -hmm. I didn't want to be like, I didn't want that to take away from the first season mm. because the first season was very impactful. It really was. It, 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 there was like a huge shock. And uh, what is it about? It's about a group of children who live in a t kind of orphanage. And some stuff happens. Like I don't want to. I don't want to spoil it for you. Um, but uh, but like things... some stuff happens, and they yeah. and they learn quite a few things about the place that they're staying in. That's all I'm gonna really say about that. But I highly recommend it because it is just off the rails crazy <laughs> to me. <laughs> Azumanga Dio. I mean, you're, if you're talking about shows that have anime bullshit, Zach, <laughs> hard to get people interested in that kind of thing if they're not attuned to that kind of thing. Attack on Titan only if they watched a horror movie. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, do I like DC or Marvel? Uh, hmm. That is a good question because both of them have their pros and cons. DC is really good with animated shows, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Like animated shows and movies. Marvel is really good with live action. And I've tried watching their cartoons, and there's almost like a hokiness to them. <laughs> like, it's on the level of Steve from uh, Code Veronica. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will have to admit. And yes, DC does have Teen Titans Go, that's true. Whichever one has but... Invincible is the one I'm going for. I'm not much of a superhero movies. That's really the only one I got into. Yes. But uh, yeah, Invincible was amazing. When I saw that, that was just awesome. Oh yeah. It really was. Hmm. 
mecha anime is especially weird to recommend because there's a weird subgenre thing going on. <laughs> yes, I mean... <laughs> I think you're right, Views, yeah. Yeah. Neon Genesis Evangelion is like... Like, when I tried watching that, I was sitting there and just like, what the hell is happening right now? That was Dark Horse, like, yeah. Invincible is Dark Horse. Ooh. Like this DC, but it's completely different. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, it is. If I could be a second into another universe, I don't even know what that means. A second is that just been dropped? In? Um, I think it's kind of like transported. Oh, to all another right. Universe or something like that, or or is it like? Does it mean like die and like go <laughs> into another universe? Because I don't know. A lot of, it seems like a lot of isekai <laughs> anime that I've seen has the main character die a lot for mm. some reason. <laughs> Misato is a villain. Tell me I'm wrong. You're wrong. I don't know who that is, though. <laughs> Misato. Misato. Why does that sound familiar? Sorry you're having problems, Hunter. <clears throat> Evangelion was sort of overrated. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd honestly have to agree because I tried to enjoy it, but I, I, just, I just wasn't getting into it, mm. you know? Although... The, the scenes with the robots were especially, like, gruesome, I guess, <laughs> and, and, like, uh, and visceral, so it's just like, I like everything about Even Kelly except everything about Even Kelly. Nice, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> Top tier comments, brother. Do, do you like elephants? I have no qualms with them. Yeah, elephants are cool. I like elephants. You gotta pick from one of these three cards, Zan. Oh, yes, yes, I'm sorry. Which of <laughs> these thinking... bone cards do you want? Rattler. <laughs> All right, insta kill rattler. Yes. You know you're free to get up again, to keep your blood flowing, hmm. if you so choose. Stand up whenever the map is unrolled. Ask me to time. To plan your to next plan. encounter. Keep your hands off my possessions. Why? <laughs> All right, you weirdo. So be it. What up? Whoa, you look too close, man. Back up a stitch. Was it me? <laughs> Wasn't me. <laughs> <laughs> At least they had a cool, cool opening, opening song. song. Oh, uh, Evangelion, okay. I guess. Evangelion, I suppose. I don't know. I don't know. But the creator had a massive bout of depression while uh, working on it. Yeah. I can see that because I've heard stuff about the ending, and I actually saw a bit of the ending, and I'm just like, what on in the world <laughs> yeah. is this like? <laughs> like interdimensional nightmare that I am witnessing right now. <laughs> Jelly and biscuits. I'm just waiting for the next episode of New Vegas. I recently started watching the episodes over and over, and the amount of content <laughs> and humor that I missed. Yeah, I mean, some people don't realize that at the end of the, every episode, like during the credits or like the last 20 seconds or so, a lot of times there's a joke hidden back there. I only started doing that about 50 episodes in, but yeah, it become a regular thing. So, like a deleted scene at the end of every video. Oh, Spy X Family. Oh my goodness. Never heard I, of it. That is such a good anime, though. I love Anya. She's adorable. She's this little pink-haired girl, and she's got little horns. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that, she yeah. She calls Dad Chi-Chi, and it's so cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and yes, she is meme power. <laughs> there was one anime I saw about a guy and a girl who were in love, but then the girl gets hit by a car and goes into a coma for like three years and then when she wakes up the guy's already moved on but he doesn't want to tell her that he's moved on because he doesn't want to shock her and make her go back into a coma so he's like trying to be all nice about it and trying to like be there for her but he's like I've already moved on with my life it was very dark and tragic for some reason, I feel like that's the plan you have laid out for me for what? some reason. <laughs> that was oddly specific. <laughs> I'm describing the plot of an anime. I'm not paying somebody to hit you with a car. Because <laughs> people are offering to do that for free. <laughs> uh, so who offered to do it for free? Huh? Zach. <laughs> Nothing against Zach, you personally. He just, you. he just likes vehicular homicides. Bus Chan, yes, it was Bus Chan. <laughs> Bus Chan was the culprit the whole time. <laughs> Flash TV series, haven't seen it, nope. Uh, I cease correspondence with Truck Coon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're lying, April, that was 
so horribly depressing. <laughs> <laughs> My Jupiter. Not. Spend too much time in Ohio, you'll want to be hit by a car. Are you smart or something? He usually doesn't even bother teaching about bones. All right, here's a tip. I saw a past victim writing a passcode in the rule book. Thank you, Stoat. Thank you very much, Stoat. All right, let's see All if right. we can deal with this. Well, I could probably put a squirrel here and then put a bullfrog. How much right do here. I like Star Wars? It's okay. I haven't really watched a whole lot of it myself. Star Wars, those near and far wars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Attack for one. Yeah. Ah, uh, but then he attacks for two. Oh, no. Ha, ha. <laughs> hey, right. scared donut. <laughs> Mm. All right. You want to save up and get the wolf out, or you want to get the stoat out right now and take care of that coyote on the right? Hmm. Well, I could probably pull out another squirrel. You could use your emergency squirrel in a bottle, yes. Yes, let's pull out the squirrel Okay. Here. You said the coyote is something I probably want to... He's doing that. two points of damage at the end of every turn. So he's only got one point health, so it's easy to kill him, too. Yeah, I'm going with wolf. Use the wolf to murder that coyote. Yes. That'll do. Bonk, bonk. And that guy keeps attacking the stump. Very well. All right. I suppose I'll pick another squirrel up. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see. So if you want, you can start attacking that stump, or you can just wait until that, that porcupine yeah. pine destroys the stump. I'll, I'll wait till the first time. Eh. Ooh, almost got him. I could probably actually just... You could probably just end it by hitting the bell. You could put the stoat on the board, grab a card. I'll grab a card and just do that. Okay. Attack for four points. Three teeth, yeah! Heading out. Thanks for stopping by, Shuckle. Thank you, Shuckle. It was good to see you. Did I Bye. know? Did I know that basically all the game's achievements are named after Magic the Gathering cards? Oh, nerds! <laughs> People who made this game are nerds. <laughs> Ooh, the apothecized goat. That one is long due for a sacrifice. Blue. Blue. Oh, there's blue. <laughs> there's blue. Oh, I the have coyote. to take blue yeah, now. You kind of do, don't you? Yes. It's pretty this nice is an card. obligation now. Magic the Gathering is fun. I'm sure it is, but it's also pricey. All right, so what's this symbol here, honey? Uh, you know how you put the soul of a sparrow inside one of your cards? Oh, that's the sacrificial one. Yes. Blue. No, yellow! <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's just go to the campfire thingy. The fire. Oh, yes. I'm blue. da ba dee da ba da da ba dee da ba da Have you heard the goofy version of that? Uh, now, here's a story about a girl and everything is blue. <laughs> All the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are blue except for three of them. <laughs> so who do you want to warm around the campfire? Mm. To health, correct? Is that what it's telling me? Yeah, yeah, whichever card you put in the campfire will get a little stronger, a little more health. Need to four... You need to choose a nerd focus to spend absurd amounts of money on. You can choose D&D, &D, Warhammer, or Magic the Gathering. No other options. Uh, which of those would you choose? Wait, D&D, &D, Warhammer, or Magic the Gathering? Hmm. I guess D&D &D because I don't know anything about card games. Ah, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> I'd probably choose Magic. Uh, let's see. Oh, what's this? Oh, is that a totem? That's a totem fight, yeah. Totem! And but you're not getting a totem. You're fighting a totem boss. Oh, whoops. <laughs> ah, I His, got tricked. He got you. The jukes. <laughs> Ever look in the rule book? There's definitely passcode scrawled in there. They were looking up the, the bullfrog, bullfrog sigil. Okay. The bullfrog sigil. The bullfrog sigil. <laughs> We well, could that get, requires two blood. We could get the stone on the board, or we could wait. Oh, okay. We could play okay. it right now. Let's, um, I guess behind the boulder? Or... Then he'd just be attacking the boulder nonstop. There's a card coming down. You might want to start attacking that. Are you sure? It's, I... a, it's a wolf cub. Yeah. If you attack it before it evolves into a stronger wolf, though, that would be good. 
Okay, yes. Yes, I know, I know. So you'll do one point of damage, and then the wolf cub will do a point of flying damage. And then next turn, it's going to turn into a powerful wolf. Unless you take it out this turn, which you will, because it's going to do a point of damage. Um, I guess, uh... Yeah, I guess yeah. you got to wait for a turn until you get another squirrel. Ow. Well, dang. Ooh, all right. All right, I guess. Well, there's the bullfrog. And you could play the bullfrog and start fighting things like the alpha. All right. Mm-hmm. Point of damage, and then, ooh. Ooh. Uh-huh. Okay. What do you think I should do, sweetie? Well, getting blue out wouldn't be a bad idea. But, you'd but have who would to, I sacrifice? You'd have to sacrifice somebody in addition to the squirrel, yes. Maybe the stoat? Maybe the stoat, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll do the stoat. Okay. And take out that wolf cub before it can hurt you, yes. And you hack... Ooh, you had enough bones to get the rattler out too now. Oh really? Yep. Oh okay. So you got four mm -hmm. bone tokens over there, and the rattler requires three. Bonk 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 bonk. There you go. You're bouncing back. Yes. Did that rock? Did the alpha inspire the rock to hit you? Yes. The <laughs> boulder was attacking Anne. <laughs> That's not wrong. It's That's... not just a boulder. <laughs> yes. It's not just a boulder. It's attacking. <laughs> bonk, bonk, bonk. Nice. You got him. Yay. Ooh, you were stopped by a trapper. There was something uncanny about his appearance. You were quickly distracted by his wares. Care to look at me, pelt? I'm Irish, they. <laughs> Oh, okay. Take, Take a pen, free of charge. Alrighty. You know, you got four or five teeth, you could probably get a strong wolf pelt, or maybe a handful of rabbit pelts. Alright, so I've got, um... Five teeth, you are, yes. Hmm. I guess I could get a wolf pelt. You could. See, See the quality? quality? Such quality! And... I don't have any more, You so. can try to buy the rabbit pelt, but I don't think he'll let you. No, I don't think he'll let me, so... I think... You grab the handful of pelts. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, how do I get Gra past Grab it? the handful of pelts. You're leaving already? Please consider me pelts. I know, hon, <laughs> but I don't have enough tea. <laughs> Just grab the pelts again. Uh, you need more teeth for that one. I know. That's why I have to leave. That's why you have to grab that stack. Very well. Thank you for your business. The man assured you of the value of the pelts, and then you carried on. They appear to be useless in a fight, but he mentioned the traitor would reward and you. when she starts dominating the game, I'm flexing like Sithies, who I'm flexing <laughs> like Sithies, who I'm flexing <laughs> like Sithies, who flex like Sithies, who flex like Sithies. <laughs> Knowing actual Irish guys from Ireland, I'm dying inside from that <laughs> accent, Mike. Oh, I'm sorry to offend you, Aikens. Didn't mean to do that for you. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Much apologies to ya. <laughs> Alright, so the pack is like you can get extra items, right? Yes. I will probably go get an item. Okay, we'll get an item. Pain! Yes, pain. Pain. Ooh, goat in a bottle. Hmm. Is there a use to the goat? What, do, what does he have? If you get that, you get the black goat bottle. He's got the worthy sacrifice ability. The black goat is worth three blood. Three blood, okay. Yeah, so you can play the black goat, and then on top of him, you can sacrifice the black goat to summon something that requires three blood. All right. We'll go for that, then. Goat in a bottle. You got a goat in a bottle. Goat in a bottle. Yeah. Do -do 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 Flex on him like Sithis. <laughs> that'll be that for now. Always got more coming down the line, though. That's going to hurt. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is kind of tricky. And it's kind of problematic. What is the wolf pelt used for? It is not good in battle at all. Okay. It's really only used to I'm take up... I am officially goated with the socks. <laughs> <laughs> you zoomers and your weird lingos. <laughs> 
Oh my gosh, is that is that Krendor? I think I see an icon of Krendor right there. Oh my gosh. Cox and Krendor, they've got some funny stuff. I do like their stuff. Mm. Let's say. I guess my only choice is to just attack. Yeah, just take out that wolf and then unfortunately lose that bullfrog. You ever peeked in that rule book? You know, the one, you look at it, if you forget a sigil, you know, the sigils on the cards. Yes, I understand. <laughs> Do you though? Do you really? <laughs> Total misplay. Maybe. And I know they... Ah, 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 ah. Okay, hang on one sec. Sorry. Draw Not a card now. first. Draw a card first. Okay. Mm. Squirrel or a different card? Ooh. I'll just see if what the different card is. A rabbit, rabbit pelts! pelts. <laughs> Those right, aren't helpful. Mm, taking a tooth? Yes. Yay! A well-earned point of damage. <laughs> I didn't think you'd really do it. And then you did. Can I use this as You well? can use the scissors as an option. Snip. All right. And do you have enough bones? I think you do. You could play the rattler. Three bones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll play the rattler. Yes. Maybe put him right there. Take out that wolf cub if you could. Yes. Nice. All right. Stoat is molding. Yeah, Stoat's getting a little impatient. That's true. Yes. Just... You're going. You're thinking about going into the Marines. We have any advice? I think if you've watched the channel, you can hear most of our advice. We, we're not too fond of advocating for people to do military service, but if you want to, more power to you. As long as it's something you want to do and not something you feel like you have to do because of tradition or. I'm gonna join the military so they make me in shape. That's always a terrible thing to hear. There you go, you beat him! <laughs> and his flying wolves, nice. You're playing Dungeons and Dragons and this guy sniffed for goblins in a goblin fort. <laughs> Ooh, be wary of the gorilla's strength. And Kaminsky. It's got sharp quills. When it's struck, it deals a point of damage to the attacker. Oh, it's the gorilla. Gorilla looks cool. Yes. I might just get a gorilla because I already have a bullfrog. Yeah, you don't have very many heavy hitters. I'll take this heavy hitter. <laughs> Yo, big monkey. <laughs> Thanks, Metallic. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. So. Let's get another item. Okay, sure. Get some items. Uh, mm. I'll get the scissors. Those were very useful last time. Ooh. Shall I get more scissors? More scissors as an option. More scissors. All right. Delightful scissors. Have we thought about playing Saints Row? I've actually played Saints Row 2, 3, and 4. Wouldn't be a bad thing to play with I the I heard friend? it's yeah. really funny. It like, is. It's very good. And it, and it seems like from what I've seen from the gameplay, it's almost similar, not quite similar, almost similar to uh, Grand Theft Auto. It is, but it, it leans yeah. heavily into the campiness after the second game. Yeah, my... Which my, I love, actually. I, I absolutely love that. I remember when my sister actually used to play only a couple of games. I was I was mostly the gamer, but she played a couple of games. One of them was like um, like Simpsons Road Rage or something uh, like yes. that. <laughs> and another one was, um, I think I think she played one of the Grand Theft Auto games. My, I forget which one she did. But whenever she ran into somebody, like, on the street, they'd yell, You stepped on my son! And I'd be like, <laughs> What? <laughs> uh, I've never heard of that. I was invited to somebody's house to play Grand Theft Auto back in the day. Really? Yeah, and we were just, like, passing the controller around, handing it to each other. We'd take turns playing it. And someone passed the controller to me, and I just spent, like, the next five minutes driving around town, following all the traffic lights. <laughs> and they got really angry at me and grabbed the controller from my hand. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you're fighting the Prospector again. Yeehaw! Better luck this time. Ah, I've got the heavy hitter now. You do got the gorilla, yes. Let's you... see. Can I use the black goat and sacrifice him to get the gorilla? You could, yes. Let me do that. Okay. You're lacking sacrifices for the black goat, but you do have a squirrel. I do have a squirrel. 
Sacrifice the squirrel for Black Goat, and then, ooh. And then Gorilla. Got the Gorilla, turn one. All right. Mm -hmm. Let's do this. Five points means we instantly win the first round. Yay! <laughs> nice. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> But there's gold in them cards. How dare you? <laughs> there's gold. Gold in that card. Gold in that card, too. I struck g -g -g gold. You're a jerk. <laughs> he is. He's a real ass about it. Put a bolt rock down. Okay. And let's do this. Get him. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe you could get blue out sometime soon. Yes. What's the smoke, though? What does that do? It's kind of like a squirrel, except if it dies, you get four bones. I see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. How's it going? It's going well, Charging Hot Rod. Yes, thank you. And his bloodhound jumps in front of your squirrel. So many bones. Let's see. And let's... Should I put blue right here? Sure. All right. <sighs> bloodhound jumps in front of the blue. All right, attack the bloodhound. It attacks you back. Ooh. Oh. Hello. And then blue upgraded because of the sigil it had. Now it's got an attack of two. Yes. And now, let me see. Oh, I've got to pick a card first. Yes. Do we plan and on doing video lose. on it for YouTube? You think Zach might like it? It would be funny to watch both of us play it. Which game are you talking about? I'm not sure which one you're talking about. Posture check, no shrimps in the chat. I am slouching and I apologize for nothing. <laughs> I beat him! Oh, my spine! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, honey, are you okay? No, I was slouching, it hurt. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm kidding. Do you, do you need some I'm just, stretch? No, I'm, I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations on beating the prospector, honey. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Check your posture. Yup, still bad. <laughs> I beat the spro prospector. Ow, my back! <laughs> yeah, my spine! You get a rare card, and choose carefully. Oh, let's see. Oh, let's see. The Ooh. Yura Yuli. The terrifying Basilisk. Basilisk. And the, the Gek. The uninspiring Gek. When a card bearing this name is too much to with, that creature perishes. Yeah, okay. like so the snake. Touch a dove. Yes. Ooh, cow drop. Thank you, Harina. People are saying Gek because it's best card. View says Gek is best card. Metallic Plant says Gek, Gek, Gek. <laughs> yes, Gek does have an appeal, being that it is such a cheap card. Yes. But that basilisk is looking pretty appealing. But that basilisk impressive. is looking so appealing. Yes. And the Yuri Yuli has got an attack I mean, of seven and a defense I mean, of how seven. can you go wrong with that chicken for a head? <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's a chicken. How can I? Don't feel I... peer pressure from the chat, Ad. This is your game. Okay. Play it however you All want. All right. Let's let's do basilisk. You got the basilisk. All right. What's the point of two attack? This guy. Watch out. He's an enemy stand user. <laughs> What's the point of two attack with death, death touch? Well, uh, if the enemy is stinky, they still die because the two attack is still attack them. Uh, if the enemy is dead and you're attacking an empty spot, you're going to do two damage to the enemy instead of one. So there's plenty of reasons for a death touch with two attack. A lot of different sigils here. There is some sort of code. On... Mighty Leap, hold on. 273. Ah, yes. Oh. 273. All right. We found okay. a number of some sort. All right. So let's go back. Is there a cockatrice card in this? I don't believe there is. No. Just the basilisk. Yeah, that's probably the closest you'll get. Great. Ah, uh -huh. you found him. Stink bug. Oh, hello. hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. Is, is the stone around? The stunted wolf? This madness must end. Put that away. What's this? And that's oh. a key. Okay. okay. We have a key now. Good to know. Good All to right. know. All right. So where should I put this key in? Ever have the masculine urge oh. to fight in hand-to-hand -hand combat while Freebird plays? Uh, Freebird kicks ass, so yeah. <laughs> well, we unlock that now. So what is this exactly? Hmm. 
It's a little puzzle. Um, I suppose I could look at it some other time. Okay. And I do. Go back to fighting this guy. All right, all right. Hello, Papyrus the Skeleton. Ooh, you arrived Hi, at the papyrus. <laughs> you arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. Pass one of my trials, and I will be yours. Which trial would you like to try to pass? Hmm. Three creatures will be drawn. Choose a trial. Trial of bones. Five bones, six Art. health, or trial of power for attack. Hmm. Three random cards from your deck will be chosen. Which ones do you think will be chosen? Bones. Thank you for the bits, Wizardly D. Very kind. How are I, how are we and how is Zach? We're doing well. Zach's been yes. lurking in chat. Zach is lurking within the chat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm doing well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> So now you have I just to realized how quiet I've been, and I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, uh, you don't have to apologize for anything. You're trying to play this game, but it requires focus. Yeah, yes, yes, it does. Shut up and take my bits. <laughs> LOL. <laughs> Out of context, that sounded weird. I'm sorry. That's <laughs> uh, all good. You love this game? It's a great game, isn't it? I love it too. Which trial do you think you would be least likely to pass, or most likely to pass? Mm. Blue has six. Blue's got six health. It's quite a lot of health. Um, but bones? You do have a couple of bones, but... Uh, only, only a few, though. Uh, yeah, not very many, no. Not very many Trial bones. Trial of power. There is not much power except for the gorilla. Yeah, the gorilla's pretty powerful, but... Uh, I guess I could go for the hearts. Uh, I think health is a good choice, yeah. We can try. All right, let the trial of health begin. <laughs> good luck! Three, four, six... Yeah, I think you've passed. I have, yay! You've passed the trial. The beast revealed itself. It was... It was an axolotl. axolotl. Dung beetle. Boar. Ooh, What's... we can get a piggy. <laughs> <laughs> During this ritual, loses one power. Oh, that's a good one. A stinky dung beetle is... Card bearing this sigil will block an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, these are all modded cards. That's correct. Yes. You'll strike an opponent directly, even if there is a creature opposing it. A flying axolotl. Hmm. I'm between the axolotl and the boar. Ooh. Yeah. Hmm. Now the dung beetle, though. He's got blood sacrifice, though. He does. Well, um... He requires two bones to play him. He's not a great card, but you play two bones, you get a blood sacrifice. Hmm. They both got the redeeming qualities. I mean, they do. <laughs> Agent Fuse, that's a bloody dung ball! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're quiet? I don't need to apologize, Papyrus. It's all good, Papyrus. You got it's a few good. people advocating for the axolotl. That seems to be a fan favorite, probably because it's just so cute. I do like the axolotl. I actually crocheted one a while back. Oh, yeah? You crocheted an axolotl? I think yes, it was, a, it was a little chubby axolotl. It was cute. <laughs> He's a little round one. He's Aww. adorable. <laughs> and, uh, you know what? I'm gonna choose him. Sure. Because I just have such a connection with crochet and axolotl. <laughs> the inhabited axolotl joined your menagerie. The menagerie. More items, please? Yes, yes, yes. Ooh. Hmm. A fan, a pliers, or a squirrel in a bottle. Squirrel. Definitely squirrel. Its glowing blue eyes are concerning, but other than that, it's cute. Oh, it's cute regardless. Mm hmm. You know what? Goat. All right. Very, very useful. How many Skyrim giants would it kill to, take to kill a behemoth? Hmm. <laughs> oh, there was a poll going on between the axolotl or boar. <laughs> I basically told them how to free you, so. You got a plan? We have another friend here. Oh, you've got to be, I wouldn't call him a friend. But I suppose we are in deep this time. So it looks like the soap can be played this turn, or the pelt. Let me see. Well, what have we got here? Why is there a spider on the board? Get out of here. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got a bullfrog. That's basically a tank. Yeah, it's a bit of a tag. He's got two health. Uh, maybe I'll put the stoat right here. Okay. 
Sounds good to me. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. It's fine. I don't care. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Let me see here. Mm hmm. There's the axolotl. Yes. Grab a squirrel from your inventory, yeah? Yes. Play that. Get Play the, the axolotl. Axolotl, okay, that'll do. And, hmm. Do you suppose I should put him here or here? Mm, you could put him in front of the bullfrog, and then you'll fly over. Oh, you're not going to fly over the bullfrog. Yeah, because he blocks the damage. Yeah, you'll attack the bullfrog, and he'll attack you back, but because you have the regeneration on the axolotl, eventually you're going to overwhelm the bullfrog. Hmm. Or you can put it on the left and keep on doing damage and ignore the bullfrog for now. I'll ignore him for now. Okay. There you go. Up two. Oh, but the, the snake's coming down. Ah! The creature will heal one health at the end of its own turn. Well, yeah. The axolotl will. Mm. Hmm. An you opossum. You can get the possum or the stink bug on the field, as well as the wolf pelt. Might be important. Does the wolf... What does it do, though? <laughs> it just sits there and absorbs attacks, I suppose. Hmm. <laughs> Baka. <laughs> it's not like I want to be a plate or anything. Baka. Ah, uh, yes, Papyrus says, I don't mind small spiders, it's big ones. I agree, Papyrus. I am, uh, I am not a fan of spiders, but I don't mind the small ones. The small ones are okay. Yeah. They're not hurting anyone. It's the big ones that run at you, like, full <laughs> speed, and it's bigger than a quarter. I'm going to freak out a little. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Giant tarantulas. Yes. Yeah, oh yeah. Ooh. <laughs> that is just, uh... <laughs> Let's see. You can take out... I'll take out the adder, I think. Okay, that's a good idea. There you go. Oh no, your rat is going to kill your axolotl. Oh. Uh. Alright. Yes. I'm at my limit. <laughs> Gotta cut up one of these cards, do ya? Yeah. The coyote is doing two points of damage, not just one. Yeah, there he goes. Yep. <laughs> All right. You can get the possum on the field. It only requires two bones. That's true. And I do have two bones. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't do any flying damage, so I can and hit the bullfrog. Yes, you can. But then he's going to hit you back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. You're going to bed. Good night, Ikens. It's 3 a.m. where you are. <laughs> All right. It was so nice talking with you. Yes, thanks for stopping by, Thank Icons. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for being here and helping moderate what he's... Not, not, not that anything was too rambunctious tonight. You guys have been <laughs> nice. very kind. Good night. Yes, yes. Wonderful. So you have rabbit pellets here, which don't really do much, although you can put them on the board, which might be useful. Yeah. I suppose I'll put them here. That's a good spot for him, I think. And slam. Uh, I've lost, I think. Maybe. Although there is bullfrog. I think you can salvage this. I think it's still good. Get the squirrel out. Get your bullfrog fighting his bullfrog, or maybe his rattler. Alrighty, 1v1. Let's <laughs> 1v1, do this. me scrub. <laughs> Let's do this! <laughs> oh. Ooh, I'm a cool cat. Thank you, Yardia. Yar Yar Yardaria. There's a rattler. Oh, I've got a rattler. Oh, he requires three bones. I've got a rattler. Yes. I've got a rattler. Rattler v. Rattler, me bro. <laughs> there you go. All right, I'm still in the game. Mm -hmm. I have not died yet. Oh, grill. Okay, hang on. <laughs> All right. What you're gonna sacrifice to get the black goat on the field? Hmm. Maybe the stink bug, because I haven't been using the stink bug very much. Fair enough, sure. Darkness, take me! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> and Gorilla's gonna rip into that bullfrog, is he? Yep. 
All right, good job, gorilla. Uh, have we figured out how we're gonna fit the main story of Fallout 4 into our story? Eh, we're, we're figuring it out as we go. We've the got Fallout a pretty... 4 series is a lot of fun. I've, yeah. I've watched through a lot of that. And, <laughs> oh my gosh, uh... <laughs> I'm darling. I'm darling. I'm darling. I'm darling. I'm darling. We've been doing a good job of not having to deal with the main story, although it's gonna get tougher the more the story starts focusing on it. We'll have to figure it out. Yeah, there you go. You've 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 got them. Yeah. You used up all your items, so you'll have to be a bit more careful. But you're gonna get a restock oh, I can right. Get more items up here, though. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, another trial. Oh boy. <laughs> trial of wisdom. They must have three sigils to pass. The trial, trial of health. health. Six health. Or five bones. Well, let's see. Hey, KBM Reaper, I'm doing well. <laughs> Oh, I, saw, I think so, I saw somebody ask earlier if I have any pets. I do not have any pets, no. I would like to get pets, though. Pets would be nice, yes. Pets would be lovely. What color would you say the duck on the profile picture is? Uh, I would say it's turquoise? Hmm. I don't know. You're a huge fan? Thank you, Papyrus. I could probably just do the health trial. Yeah, it's pretty reliable. Because if I do bones, there's no guarantee that I'm go it's, he's going to drop bones. No. I, but yeah. health has more of a guarantee. And as far as sigils go, I only have, like, one sigil or something like that. Yeah. I mean, there are sigils here, but just, yeah. like... It, it'd be pretty And as a friend... Oh, yes, I am. I, I am a friend. Yes. yes. And a girl. A girlfriend, one might say. Yes, yes. Maybe the girlfriend. Yes. I am the girl that is the friend. Yes, hello everyone that just joined. I see we have 120 people here, so a lot of people have joined since oh, I introduced yes. you first. But yes, goodness. This is Anne. Hello everybody, this is Anne. Hi. Hi, Chad. She's How you doing? She's my girlfriend. She's joining us tonight having some fun. Yes, Just yes. chilling and relaxing. Yes, chilling and relaxing. Hi, Papyrus or Papyrus. <laughs> We will get you some spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody touch my spaghetti! <laughs> Let the trial of health begin. Four, two, two. Oh yeah. Oh I, yeah. I passed. How's Zach? Zach is doing How's well. Zach? <laughs> An interesting follower slash quest mod called the oh, machine. Oh, I got the shoe well, bill. You've got three different birds to choose from. Shuba with a touch of death, does he? Yes. <laughs> a re ooh, a raven that recovers health at the end of every turn. Hmm. Or That's tempting. A raven egg that can be like it grows into a raven, and it has the many lives like the cat did. Yes. Can be sacrificed, but it does not perish. Ooh, these these are all three very good cards. Yes, they are. What's up? Hi, side deaf. Good to see you again. I don't know if Zach is still lurking, but look, it's a shoe bill. Yeah. There's a shoe bill here. <laughs> oh, good night, Rock Chalk Bill. Willie, Willie. Sorry, I said right at his bill. Good night, Rock Chalk. <laughs> Rock Chalk. Yeah. Rock Chalk. Yeah. Rock Chalk. Yeah. That's such a cool name. <laughs> <laughs> what does Zach spell his damn word? Weird. Us. It can be spelled with a K, but um, Zach is short for Zachary. And Zachary often has an H in it, so it kind of makes sense to me, you know? Don't pick on people named Zach because you think their names spell weird. Herbert, I'll start picking on you. <laughs> Herbert. Oh, Fuzzy's here. Hi, Fuzzy. Oh, I got to drink some water it's, then. Uh, yep, drink ducky. Oh, boy. Drink ducky. <laughs> Don't don't tell Fuzzy I got no water in my cup. Oh, yeah, I'm drinking oh, that. Oh, yeah, drinking up water. Oh, God, oh, God, yeah. God. <laughs> I need to get some water. Uh, <laughs> Fuzzy, hi. Um, I don't know if you uh, recognize me, but I am that Blue Rose gal. It's good to talk to you. I can't believe I'm talking to you with my own voice. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Zach wants to partake in communion. I didn't know you were religious, Zach. I would never have guessed. Let us partake of communion and feast upon the old blood. <laughs> The blood of the ancients. <laughs> so which of these birds would you want to grace your Apollo tree deck? Hmm. <laughs> you guessed it, Fuzzy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes you did. 
You can call me Anne Fuzzy if you like, and that is Anne with an E, just so everybody knows. Yes, it's spelled E, E with the E at E N N Anne. Anne. <laughs> you want to hear Anne's best darling voice? I'm darling. I'm darling. I'm darling. I'm darling. Yeah. <laughs> da 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 darling. I'm da 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 darling. <laughs> you don't like how the shoe bill is eyeing you? Oh, he's eyeing you. And the badgeraffe. <laughs> Gosh dang it, Mike. Now they know me as a badgeraffe. <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> he's going At least I gave you turtle duck. Turtle duck's adorable. Badgeraffe is adorable, too. Yes. Touch hmm. of death, shoe bill. Now, I am between Shoebill and Raven, because Raven will regenerate one health. That's pretty powerful. At the end of the owner's turn. Mm -hmm. Whereas Shoebill they has both. Touch of Death. Got some pretty on a nice. Card. Bearing to sigil damage is another creature that de creature dan perishes. Yes. That's a very lethal Shoebill. <laughs> Oh, you can still do a drink, Ducky Fuzzy. You can you can still do that, honestly. If you, if Badgeraf is too much of a hassle, then it's all good. <laughs> drink, Ducky, and imbibe, Badgeraf. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna grab water. Uh, How was the trip? You were watching Alan. Oh, yeah, nice. Uh, yes, yes. The trip was nice. The trip was good. The trip was very good. He was coming to pick me up. <laughs> Diamond in your window. Gonna have to make a choice. People up. Yeah. Uh, Paralyzed with choice. You've got so many good options here, I know. They're both really good because they both have the same amount of attack power and the same amount of health. I like how the shoe bill has the touch of death because it re reminds me of the actual shoe bill because every shoe bill is a murderer. <laughs> it has to kill its brother to survive. That's oh. a shoe bill fact. Okay, I'll choose the shoe bill. I, I was just giving you a shoe bill fact. All right, well. <laughs> yeah. We got the shoe bill then. We got the shoe bill. Bone so tokens. Bone tokens. Hmm? Bone tokens. That in, could uh, be very useful. Bottle. Yes. I guess you can get more bone tokens or a fan with pliers. I'll go with more bone tokens. Bone tokens. A oh. powerful item that'll skip your next turn. Ah, black goat. Hmm. When is the next Fallout Dust gonna come out? This weekend. Yeah, we'll try and do mm -hmm. try and do two or three a week. Ooh. Alright, battle bones. time. Yes, yes, fuzzy bones bones. Hey yo, it's me, we're back on the streets of Yarnum! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Zach. Uh, alright. So put this guy on the square. There's a bee and a bullfrog. And a bullfrog. You're well, flying axolotl or your stoat, or you can save them and get blue on the field as well. Yes, but I don't have two sacrifice. You'd have to save up. I'd have to save up a bit. So, hmm. I'll probably put the stoat on the field. They don't murder their brother? You lie, Zach. Every shoebill murders, well, could be a sister, I suppose. They murder a sibling. Keep me alive, says the stoat. <laughs> Let's see. Uh -huh. You could get the axolotl out, or you could save them and get blue out. Uh, let's see. I can, uh, yeah. I could probably get the axolotl out and have him face the bee. Sure. Oh, that's blue. Oh, whoops. Hang on. <laughs> Ah, but the axolotl is flying. It's going to fly over the top of the bee. Over top of the bee? Yes. They both... but, but this one blocks against... Right, okay. so the axolotl will fly over the bee, and the bee is going to fly over you. And they're, like, they're not going to damage each other. They're just going to keep on flying back and forth, back and forth. Ooh. Hmm. All right, all right. They murder their gender-neutral sibling. <laughs> they murder their sibling, yes. The parents pick the one that is stronger and feed that one. Is that how it works? Is that how it works? I, hmm. Okay, if you say so. I wasn't aware that's how it worked. 
Well, you can put wolf pelt on the field to block, and it's, if you take two more points of damage, you're out, hon. Yeah. Mm, I'm not going to do very well with this one. Well, let's scroll up and see what's on the field here. Bullfrog. So he's going to do a point why, of damage to why, you? Why, Fuzzy? Why do you have a sad? You don't have any bits. You were giving owl wolves and werewolves. That's fine. We don't Aww. need your bits tonight. We're happy to have you here, Fuzzy. Yes, we're always happy to have Look, you. Look, I'll, I'll drink in your honor. <laughs> ah, I didn't even spill any that time, hopefully. Yes, Zach, we know you're Zach. <laughs> Zach. <laughs> you're Zach. <laughs> You right. figured out what happened at Good Springs and Fallout Dust? Yeah, I guess if you could dig out a little bit more lore, you can see it. Yeah. Yes. Hmm. Your, your, your stone is going to kill the mantis. And your axolotl is going to do a point of damage. Okay. And then the bee is going to do a point of damage. And the bullfrog is going to do a point of damage. And the other bullfrog is going to do a point of damage. So I'm basically dead. Unless, let's see. Um, I would put the wolf pelt out. That would be able to stall for, I think, one more turn. All right, I guess I'll put him here. Okay, good spot. Kill the mantis, do a point of damage. Ow, ow, ooh, you survived. All right, so what do you suggest I do at this point? Ooh, at this point, it's tough to say what the best course of action will be. Hmm. Should I draw a card? Sure. I think as- Another- <laughs> I think if you can block that attack on the right side, you'll be able to survive. All right. Barely. So you'll fly into a point of damage and attack the beehive. Free bee! Oh, I've got a bee. Ah, and then the bullfrogs bee. will ah. destroy the pelts. <laughs> so you're still alive. You're still kicking. Okay. Uh, Getting so... blue out on the field wouldn't be a bad idea, but... Hmm. You might want a squirrel to block things like the, well, hmm. like the bullfrog. Yeah, yeah, the bullfrogs. Hmm. Yeah. So get a squirrel out on field. I think. I think. Yeah. You need to block some of their attacks, so that might be a good idea. And the bee on the left side too. Yes. You get a free bee. Do a point of damage. Oof. All right, and then he does a point of damage, and you're still on the cusp. Okay, so... Still hurting. Still hurting. Should I do another squirrel mm. and bee, or do I... I guess you have to. Try and get a squirrel and a bee out there, and that'll stall for one more turn each. Yeah. Kill that. Ooh. Here comes our... Oh. He's got two bees now. Two points of damage to you. Yeah. Ah, uh, uh, it was it was it was fine. You lost fine. your first candle. That's unfortunate. Germans cannot say squirrel in English. It's a difficult word, yes. Heart of the cards, and yes, the heart of the cards. You believed in them, but they didn't believe in you. Yes, unfortunately. A burglar alarm is a difficult word to say as well. Hmm. Wolf Cub, Rattler, Kaminsky. I think I might do Wolf Cub, because he gets stronger with each turn. Although, do I have Wolf Cub? Well, I have a wolf mm -hmm. already. Nothing says you can't have multiple wolves. Do I already have a Rattler? You do, on the top I right. I do, oh, yes. yes. And he's a better Rattler than this one. Is he? Because he's got oh, three health. Oh, yeah, the additional three health. I'll go with Wolf Cub. Okay. That should be fine. Let's get some items, shall you, we? You've already got a full sack. Hmm. The amount of items you can carry is three, and you have three. Perhaps you'll accept this as a gift from my friend instead. Oh, I get a pack rat! <laughs> yeah, pack rat! Yay! There you go. All right, I got a present from a little rat. Mm -hmm. He's so Lady, cute. I'm our dear badger, if we believe in you, heart I will of tell the cards. <laughs> 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 I am now dear Badger. The badger app. <laughs> uh, I, I, I will concede to the fact that I'm a Badger app. Badger app. I am the Badger app. It will grow to become adorable and cute. Okay. Uh, I will tell you a gun fact if you all stop referring to me as Lord Zach. Yes. I can tell you a gun fact if you keep on referring to him as Lord Zah. <laughs> it won't be a correct gun fact. I will completely make one up. 
I was just gonna say, what gun fact do you have, honey? The AR-15 is one more than the AR-14. You're welcome, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. That was loud. <laughs> I hope I didn't hurt anyone's ears. I'm sorry. <laughs> do I think I know more about the M16 and the M4 than Zach? Absolutely, I do. Ask me anything, and I will let you know. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Herbert's dying with laughter. <laughs> so strange. Why can't I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Ooh, he's got some cards coming down. Oh Ooh, my. those are some strong cards. Mm. I will put the bullfrog where the uh, flyer guy is. Yeah, block the sure. flying. It's not a bad idea. Oh, but here comes a lot of damage. Two, and then one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. Little rough, little rough. Can I send the bolt home? Of course I can. Oh, oh you're going to get the grill out right now? Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Black goats on the field. Gorillas on the field. Let's do this. Ooh, <laughs> still, though. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, two points. You're ooh, so close to losing. Ah. Oh, no. Well, don't right. forget, you can get the rabbit pelt out to the block. Well, those are flying attacks that so won't really block those attacks. The stink bug, though, could assist you because he's stinky. Put him here, I guess? Sure. And then the gorilla can start laying into them. And I'll probably sure. squirrel here. Five points. Ba -ba -do -ba -do -ba -do. Yeah. And the kingfisher and the river otter. And the stink bug is so stinky that second kingfisher couldn't attack you. There's blue again. Hey, there's blue. I could probably just... Probably okay. just end it. Yep. You got it. Yay. All right. <laughs> Part of the cards are lady and the bad draft. <laughs> <laughs> the best bad draft there ever was. Oh. Thank you, honey bunny. <laughs> Watch out in case he pulls out the seal of Oricalos. Uh, <laughs> bullfrog, Kaminsky, or the mole. omnipresent mole. It burrows and emerges to block any landborn attacker. That sounds really good, because I already have a bullfrog. Every this single doesn't piece, really do much. Every single piece of U.S. equipment in World War II was named M1. It wasn't, though. I, M1 Grand, M1 Abrams. I guess it kind of, yeah, all right. Seems weird, though. The fire. Yes. The warm ah, and the power. campfire. A welcome sight. Ten hungry eyes dampen the greeting. Who wants to be enhanced in terms of power? Hello, we snow. Welcome. You bet I want the gorilla to have one more power. <laughs> <laughs> He's already a beast, though. Hmm. Fair point. Fair point. What if I did blue? You could power blue up, so it's, she starts off with two attack. The survivors were right. They had enhanced the creature's power. You withdrew with blue. <laughs> da ba dee da ba da. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for another boss. You found a baby mole in your backyard? Cool. No. Oh, crud, it's the fisherman, isn't it? A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. Ah, uh, it's the guy that cheats. Ah, uh, no. you pulled the hook. You got a rotting pile of fish. I am the angler. Go fish. No. <laughs> I, I don't want. No. Mm. You go away. Be less of a jerk. All right. We'll get some cards out, I suppose. There's a wolf right. pelt. I could probably put out the bullfrog. You could, yeah. There we go. Here comes Kingfisher. Gonna fly over that pelt and do a point of damage. Which fish? Hard, Hard chew. Ah, yes. Okay. The bullfrog. So you've already seen a little bit of what this guy does. Give him a little squirrel over there. Yeah, I, I'm just going to give him the squirrel because... Yeah, so you can have the squirrel, I suppose. 
Kingfishers do two points of damage. And we got the squirrel. Mine now, Mine now go, fish. go fish. Oh, okay. The angler, mind his hook. Play a squirrel or something when he aims it. That will protect your best cards. Oh, you know I will. <laughs> <laughs> Very helpful, thank you. Hmm. All right. Ooh, bones. Yes, so that way I can hear you right there. Uh-huh. Attack the stink bug, there we go. Oh, here comes a bullfrog. All right, you take two. Hmm, stale fish, hard shoes. Ooh. All right. Squirrel on the field. New fish, easy choose. Damage the bullfrog, and then Kingfish F flies over. So does that one. Yeah, they're doing damage. A smelly smell. It smells smelly. <laughs> Anchovies. Anchovies. Fuse wants to remind you you have bone pigs in case you want to use that one. You already used one of them, but there's a second one. All right. Not that you have any cards that use that, but it's there. It's there. Mm -hmm. You have nice. to sacrifice both of them to get the pack rat out. The pack rat's pretty good. It is, yes. Oh my. So I have to sacrifice these two. You'd have to get rid of both of them, yes. Okay. Ooh, all right. And there's a boulder I could probably put on the field, right? Where would you want to put it? That, that, that is a good question. I'll wait a turn before doing that. I okay. Guess. Kingfisher attacks over the rat pelt. Ooh, you're on the brink of death. I am. That's He's looking to hook a card. Hmm. Hook that one, jerk. Hmm. And what's your favorite fish? My favorite fish. Ooh, that's a good question. To eat um, or to pet? Uh, uh, as far as a pet goes, I've had some goldfish before. I used to have a goldfish named Henry, and uh, he lasted for months and months, and his tail got real long. And I loved Henry. He was awesome. But um, as far as my favorite fish goes, Alaskan I do like the... Tasty. I mean, like... I think I like neon tetras because of how like luminous they are. And they're, they're they're just really beautiful, especially when you put like a blue light on them. It's really cute. Of course, I pet fish. Just put your hand in there, pick them up. They love it. They flap around because they're having a great time. Attack for two, and then he attacks for one, and then grabs a squirrel. All right, we're still in this. We're still in this. We're still in the game. What's my favorite tree? Uh, the tree I had outside my front yard when I was growing up. It was pretty cool. Kind of, it's like an oak tree. I kind of, not really an oak tree, more of a maple. It's a big old maple. Can't really do much right now. Hmm. I mean, I'm blocking his attack, or keeping a point, rather. Hmm. You're doing two points with the pack rat. He's doing one with his bird. Not much is getting done, but you are making progress. Yeah. Should I just put down a squirrel? I don't know what that would accomplish. I don't know. I would have to make a sacrifice, though, to get the wolf down. Right. You could play your squirrel and then get the wolf out right now, but you'd have to sacrifice Maybe the Maybe I should just, rat. like, do the turn and get yeah, two damage. And sure. Good it'll idea. still keep me in the game, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, had a you had a pet tarantula honk named Cazador. Ah, the hunter. The hunter. Another squirrel out here. You like the baobab tree because it's got a fun name? Uh, yeah, it does. It's a silly name. Alright, you're back to neutral. Now he's got a tough with you. Take another squirrel. But now you can get your squirrel out and start wrecking him. Now I can do that. And then this. Thank you, good guy Doba things. Oh, do bad things. You Thank you, good guy. Do bad things. Thank you for the sub. Favorite cup. And overkill damage. You've killed the enemy behind it because it was such a strong attack. Good job. Lucky for you. And additional two points of damage. Red solo cup. <laughs> I don't know if I have a favorite cup. 
I've got some sentimental mugs, I guess. Some pretty cool design mugs. Oh, yay! You beat the first wave! Uh-oh. Go fish. Go fish. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, that's gonna turn into a shark. Yeah, you've that's already seen- That's gonna turn into a shark. It's gonna turn into a shark. That's no good. Uh, okay. What's the suggestion mm. for this? <laughs> Maybe see what cards you get from that pile there. A possum. Hmm. I don't think this is gonna end well for you, Anne. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay, honey. Shark. Uh, Great white shark. Da 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 da. Yeah, I'm dead. Ooh. I'm basically dead. <laughs> yeah, I can't see this going well. Look, there's a, a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. But he's the only one of us with a plan to get things back to normal. Yeah, I guess the boulder is probably good. Boulder, I could probably put on here. Yeah. And then the possum could take up a space. Or the stoat. You could sacrifice um, that squirrel to get the stoat out and block a shark attack. Uh, You're going to have to use your stoat and your possum to block shark attacks at this point. I feel, oh, you put them there. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, no matter what, it's going to... I'm going to die, I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now it's probably going to happen for sure. You got three sharks coming at you now. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, this is... Uh, I'm dead. It's I'm not looking nice. Oh, Ooh. the gorilla. Oh, uh, no. no. Why did You're I too you? late, Mr. Gorilla. We can't use you anymore. You're too late. No. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> Maybe we'll survive this shark attack. No. No. You got us. Favorite it's box of any box? <laughs> I don't who, know. Who's in? Yeah, that is me. I am Anne. Uh, Hello, Arufuru Dark Lord. Anne is the girlfriend. I am the girlfriend. Hello. She likes playing video games, so we're here I streaming. Do. Yeah. I do. And it, now it's time for you to be turned into a card, I think. Again? Yes. <laughs> yes. No need to move. Stay there. I am afraid you're not dead yet. Hold still. Where did I put that camera of mine? Pathetic. There's no film in there. Do you have any idea what that camera is capable of? Give me that. <laughs> we have a memento to create. Your death card. Let's ink it. It's cost. All right. So the cost. And wolf pelt is free. Wolf pelt is free. Free from the wolf pelt. A power and health. Ooh. Well, Gorilla's really good. <laughs> yeah, Gorilla's really good. 5-4 from the Gorilla, yes. Choose a card for the sigils. sigils. Hmm. I do like Sympathy it. sip, yes. Drink some water. Sympathy sip, yes. Thank you. <clears throat> All right. So which then... sigils? What kind of death claw do I like? One that's friendly, which is not very common. <laughs> Although there are, from what I've heard, I've been watching a series, like, um, I, I forget what his name was, but, um, he, uh, he profiles a lot of the, uh, lore from Fallout, and, uh, I think there are such things as smart death claws, like, um, like those talking death claws in, like, the second game, I think it was. Oh, they're pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, those are pretty cool. It's all good, Herbert. I, I didn't mean to put down your question. My favorite box is the cardboard box from Metal Gear Solid 2, that solid snake gloves. <laughs> all right, so which sigils? Either the insta-kill from the shoe bill or the flying healing from the axolotl or the pack rat's free item? They're you all really what? good. I'm going to go... You know what? No. Nah. Let's go insta-kill. Shoebill, touch of death and lure. I now your rose. name. Oh. All right, let's go, Rose. Rose. All right, Rose. One thing remains: capture your visage. Say cheese. Th Gouda. <laughs> <laughs> There's one in Fallout 4, Anne. Talking death while you mean? Shoe or... bill are sweet and 
<laughs> Aww. Are you, you prepared for, for what lies ahead? You want to do another one? Uh, or are you good for the night? I think I should be good for the night. Okay. Did you want to keep playing, honey? Or? I think it's good. Yeah, I want to do a little quick stream tonight. Because it's been a while since we, uh, since I did a stream. Because the last few weeks have been kind of hectic. And uh, <laughs> I've been out of town. He won't do you justice, Anne. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Fuzzy. That's sweet. <laughs> no, he, he's... I know he's pretty, really good at this game. A and... quick two and a half hours. I mean, yeah, I, I know a lot about it because I've modded the heck out of it. Yes, and you've also had a lot of practice with it. Yeah, I've got a and lot of hours. You're also better at puzzles than me, so... Yeah. And, it, and this is a kind of a puzzle-based game. It really like is. That. There's a roguelike... Yeah throwing new puzzles at you with every turn. Yes. It seems the lowly stink bug has made its way into your deck. Yes. And also, I don't, I, I'm pretty sure other people have noticed this, but the stoat is getting more and more of a square head <laughs> over time. My favorite <laughs> box is the stoat's face. Yes, there you go. <laughs> we can play a bit more of this game sometime in the weekend or sometime yeah. next Yeah, in that's the coming all right. Days. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that sounds good. So we'll probably just wrap things up. I like having like little fun streams like this every yeah, little this is two a lot hour of stream. Fun. Yeah. Our sweet lady Anne of the Badger. Anne of the Badger. I am the thing of the known. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> it was great. This this was a fun stream. Yeah. I would love to do more of this. You were a little yeah. nervous, but it's been a lot of fun. Yes, I'm, yes, it has. I'm always glad to have someone join me for this. Yeah. And it was wonderful to meet you all and talk with you. That's really awesome. Yeah. You know, like, thanks for bearing with me. I'm I'm very new to the whole streaming thing, mm -hmm. so. She's enjoyed you, participating you. with you in the chat in previous days. Oh, yeah, I had I had a wonderful time. And, oh, good night, Agent Fuse. Yes. <laughs> good night. Good night. Yes. Good night to you all, actually. Good we're night gonna, to you all. Good night, Papyrus. Out. We're going to head out here. So thank you, everybody that stopped by. Yes. Aw, thank you, Mr. Fancy Panzer. Thank you You're for so the... You're so sweet. I love you guys, too. <laughs> you guys are so nice. Thank you for the bits, Fuzzy and Wizardly D and the gifted subs, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very yes. much. Yes. Ducky, the keeper of Burnfire, and Lord Zonk, keeper of common knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, Fuzzy. I love it. He is the archivist. I feel part of, I like I'm part of the squad now, even <laughs> though my label is just Badger Rap. Badger Rap. <laughs> That's the price you pay. That is the price I pay. See you when we stream again, and maybe we'll do a bit more of this tomorrow. Yeah, that, I think that would be great, actually. That would be so much fun. Yeah. Yes. I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Mm -hmm. You just got here? Sorry, oh, Moo Pigs. Sorry, Moo Pigs. I'm what, sorry. What color is Anne? Well... It have um, to be blue. blue da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> but Zach is already blue, so we, we might have to find like a blue with like a little highlight or some other thing. Or a ever... turquoise. Turquoise. I could be turquoise. A variant of blue if you ever did yes. anything together. Yeah. Yes. Teal. Oh, teal's nice too. Teal is my my mother's favorite yes, color. Yes, yes. Teal is lovely. Mm -hmm. Yes. You're gonna collapse your bed. You've been working for four oh, days goodness. straight, Grenadier. You've earned that sleep then, Grenadier. Goodness. You want to tell me something, Falcon? By all means, go ahead. What's I'm about to head Falcon? out, though, so we'll, we might not be able to see it, but we're going to head out. Yes, by all means, Falcon. By all means. Otherwise, Last of the bits keep Ducky on a short leash. On a short leash. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep an eye on him. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on him. <laughs> we inspired you to play Fallout 4 with mods. I, yeah, Fallout Aww, 4 with mods is yeah. good. Yeah. Fallout 4 without mods is pretty mediocre, but with mods, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm I'm sure mods are a blast. Like, I tried a little bit of uh, New Vegas and stuff like that with uh, with mods, and that was fun. You introduced me to that. Oh, yeah. You haven't played without uh, other than the first time that I introduced you to that? Yeah, that's the first time you've introduced me to that. All right. So, yeah. so maybe before... Oh, bye, Mr. Fancy Panzer. My name's Anne, just so <laughs> you know. <laughs> Goodbye, Mike's girlfriend, whatever your name is. Whatever your name is. <laughs> Drink before you go? All right. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. There we go. Uh, yes. Yeah, so we'll do a bit more of this. You know, 
Yes. Maybe you could. Yeah, yeah. Maybe in the future you could help me play test a few of these mods before Zach comes over and he ah. and I do a recording with them. Huzzah! That would be lovely. Or <laughs> for things like for Fallout New California, where he's already played that. He's already played the, the first part of that. But because there are branching pathways, we can see other other paths. So yeah, we can that do a, would be nice. Do some streams with that to see what kind of things Aww, choices you make. Thank you, Falcon. Thank you, Circuit. You guys Aww, are so sweet. Calls us legends. So kind of you. Thank you. Aww. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I've already been a delight. Thank you, Circuit. That's so nice. It's so kind of you to say so. Thank you for the. This is such so. a wholesome community. I love it. Yeah, these I guys really have been great. Do. You're all thank great. Thank you everybody. so much. Until we meet again, s'mores. Oh, yes. Vito Zane to you too. Oh, Vito Zane. <laughs> ah. All right, we will sign off now. We'll try and get another stream going tomorrow. I think we could. We don't have a whole lot going on. Yeah, absolutely. I'm all caught I up on my that. video editing and everything. So yeah, we yes. might do a bit more of this tomorrow. Fare thee well, all you. Yes. Good night. Thank you all for stopping good by. Night. Hope you good have night, a good Hunter. weekend. Good night, everyone. <laughs> See you again yeah. soon. See you again. Bye-bye.